everyone. Welcome to the Old School RuneScape podcast where we talk about RuneScape. I'm Emmett Cowan, your host, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rakes as always. And hello, it's RuneScape again. And by the way, anyone listening right now, that just took three attempts from Mintus Mattis to get that out. I'm glad we brought that Today, <laughs> Today, we are blessed by the man, the myth, the legends. Mr. Flumple, how are you doing, man? Living the dream. Honestly, since I was about three years old, I've wanted to be on the podcast, so um, <laughs> oh. I'm super stoked. I just got off the phone with my mom. She, you know, gave me a, a good pep talk. She was like, you know, just make sure you keep it cool and um, all that stuff. So I'm, uh, yeah, super stoked. And, uh, you know, if I am if I seem a little nervous, it's because of the pep talk my mom gave me. So, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you guys having me on. We're yeah, glad no to problem. have you, bro. We, you know, we hit up the Make a Wish Foundation. We knew you really wanted to come on, and you know, we made it happen, bro. We're like John Cena. We're like, <laughs> yeah. Except you can see us, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. and, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna just talk quickly about uh, our our uh, sub goals here. So we are very close to reaching that ten thousand, and we were really, you know, thinking heavily uh, about maybe expanding the podcast to things like Spotify, you know, for those of you guys that like audio only and all that. But it, honestly, though, if you really like the content that we do, um, a, a simple subscribe really does help motivate us to keep doing this and, and expand our stuff, you know, over to Spotify and all that. So definitely subscribe if you like our content, want to see or hear more of our stuff because it would help a lot. Dude, Rice, when you were talking, I just subscribed, dude. Oh my god, that was amazing. All right, comment down below how beautiful Rice just said that. Also, every 10 likes is one step unlocked in tile man mode, which we will get into at the end of the Q&A, where Flompa will choose where we start, because we read the comments, we gave you guys a chance, one person commented, only one, <laughs> I know it was only a day, and he said, hey, you should start at White Knight's Fortress. So we, we, no. <laughs> we're gonna let Flompa pick, that's an awful start. <laughs> Uh, an experienced player, so he'll yeah. he'll guide us well. <laughs> but at at the end of the Q and A, so uh, Foppel, man, where did you first find out about uh, old school RuneScape, and when you start playing? Um, I think like a lot of veterans, Mini Clip is where uh, I just kind of came across it on Mini Clip. But what was I playing? I was playing like Balloons Tower Defense. I don't even remember. Like it's so long ago, mm-hmm. and uh, I started in two thousand five. Like um, I was definitely lucky my parents bought like i i saw they still had the receipt for the first pc they ever bought they bought it in 2003 and it was six thousand dollars canadian oh! canadian so it, it was insane like it was a good computer but you know anyway so i'm 26 so that was when i was like i started when i was like 10 years old i was like right away just like jumping in found video games i was playing the pinball on my pc that was like put on the computer by default you know like one of those games anyways um, found mini clip. I had an older brother, a couple of years older than me, and and he said he was like, you know, try this RuneScape game, um, and uh, yeah, like have quit for brief spurts in the past 16, 17 years, and that's it. Otherwise, like everybody knows, I'm just that guy that's played RuneScape since he was ten. So it's great. Dude, yeah. that's that's awesome, man. Do, Yo. do you know what? What you just said just instantly gave me a flashback to my childhood, right? You said that your parents bought a computer for 6,000 Canadian USD, which yeah, is... Yeah. I'm, Canadian I know USD. Can- yeah, yeah I, I, I know it's it's not Monopoly money. It's not worth quite as much as the American dollar, but dude, that gave me a flashback. I just thought, man, when I was young as well, my parents did a similar thing. I don't know how much the computer was worth, but I remember my mum convincing my father to buy a computer and this was when computers were only in libraries and like a few schools had them and i remember my mom's argument was like i want our kids to be ahead of the curve and just any work fact- out <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm just like the fact that we spent all i did on that computer was literally play runescape <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, runescape was ahead of its time back then it felt like it really so. was it really was but yeah. so many I mean, things it- like it yeah. helps with, um, you know, like all kinds of little things like playing RuneScape from that young age. Like I was ahead of the curve for like math, like, you know, you're buying and selling bowstrings and flax and stuff. And like at, at Camelot, you got to know how to do the quick math and like doing a bank sale. Got to know like economy. Like I bought it for 100K, got to sell for 120K, like stuff like that. Like when you're 10 years old, not a lot of people are doing that. And then, of course, just being able to type, like I'm sure all of us can actually type without just using two fingers and 
pecking away at the keyboard like that's a big thing that a lot of people miss out on if they didn't play a game like like runescape for as long as we have yeah a lot of that. points bro i'm wondering if all runescapers peaked in like high school because we yes. got those skills right away and then we were like this is easy and then just straight downhill bro and that's why we're all still playing runescape dude. we just peaked 10 years ago oh man i miss yeah. those days so it yeah. got a little real. So, I mean, there was someone supposed to make a joke, but I think that was no, a little no, too that, much. That, on is the money, bro. that is true. That is true. I mean, I, I can I, I can attest to that. I, I I can support that claim because I didn't know English, right? And uh, I think RuneScape is a big reason why, like, my vocabulary is like was started getting better than than kids that lived here their whole lives after a few years being here. Is because like you know all the like copper tin. You know, ran our, you know, what I mean, all those weird words, this, this, like, they stick to, and then all that typing, yeah. you know, negotiating and stuff really helps, uh, just refine your vocab and your, I guess, language skills. But oh, quick question. So you know, you play RuneScape since forever ago. So were you that guy where you when when all the kids play RuneScape, were you that guy that 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 was looked up looked up upon as like the dude that's like, yo, he's got that these game, he's the one hundred combat guy. You know, were you oh, that guy, or were you absolutely. the guy that's like? Yo, can yeah, I, no, like, I was, work for you? Oh, I was no, no. absolutely known as like Chad Thundercock on the uh, playground. <laughs> they just look at me and they're like, "My God, look at this! Look at the sheer velocity of this man here! Like mm. he's he's done Monkey Madness one! Like my goodness, get on his wow. level!" So yeah, I would have oh, hung yeah. out with you, bro. Oh my God, you I'm did Monkey that. Madness one? Damn! You man. know how much money I made selling fire capes to people on the playground back in like middle school, <laughs> high school? I was like, yeah, ten dollars each, and then one guy was like, "I'll give you 50. and I was like. It's not how negotiating works, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's yeah, like, no, that just was, uh... disrespect my, uh, my, my business. It's like, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Dude. No, absolutely. I was, before I was I go the nerdiest. In, before yeah, sorry, I go, go into how it. much you made as, mm. as a high schooler selling fire capes, which is quite amazing. How many Bugattis you bought. <laughs> yeah, I got to ask, how many houses could you have bought with that $6,000 instead of computer that runs like one digivite, bro? Like... <laughs> Six thousand dollars. That that's like what two houses back in the day. Yeah, honestly, when you account for like inflation and everything, that was probably like a ten thousand dollar computer. Like it, it was just nuts. So, um, luckily, it wasn't when I was ten years or eight years old. Whenever I was when they bought it, um, I don't know where they got that money from. So, <laughs> but they they same thing as like Rakes that you were saying. Like I just want my kids to be ahead of the curve. Like this is this is the big thing. Like they were smart for for jumping on it then and realizing like having a computer like that is is important so yeah so that that really was the reason that you like asked them one day it's like wait so why did you buy this you know yeah. like for six thousand they're like we wanted you to be the best yeah no, <laughs> and, and, like, and did it work out did you feel like their investment was you know like like was worth it you know? oh but it was worth it for my entertainment absolutely just like surfing <laughs> i was on youtube on that computer before you could make accounts on youtube like it was like so long ago like seeing all the the Dude. videos where it's like i remember when this video was like a week old i saw it and it had like 30 views and now it's like one of the oldest most viewed videos like yeah it's definitely mm -hmm. uh i don't know how that like applies to like making you a better person or anything like that but in some aspects it mm -hmm. definitely was uh worthy investment by that you know you know you saw the 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 literally the big bang of youtube you know like that yeah. animal video in the zoo or something yeah. oh yeah. my god that's crazy Dude, i wasn't you there you kind of have a point it. right because the big it. bang on on youtube back in the day was like old school pvp videos before call of duty had the copyright mm -hmm. of music sadly i don't think they were making money off it but it was kind of like if you uploaded runescape pvp that in that time spawn. period yeah. you got views bro like you got yeah. views that no one else understood at that time. That was like the Mr. Beast content of like 2006. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was talking about the zoo zoo video. Apparently, it's like the first ever video on YouTube. You know, I have a I video here. Uh, I have a video from 12 years ago on YouTube with a thousand views called uh, uh, Rayman 9670, which was my username. Drop log video. So. You know, I was gaming. And then there was a PKing video from 12 years ago, and it's got all the classic PKing, like, music and stuff. So, um, yeah, no, I, I had a couple guides. I had a guide that had 
it was like a money making guy and it was like listed What's like one one mil an hour green dragons i don't even know if these are listed anymore um you're you getting one mil an hour green dragons bro were you just yeah, no, baiting as a kid definitely a lie um that video got taken down for copyright music at 100 <laughs> views within like a few months like guides when you like you know clickbait title that was that was well ahead of his time and oh, also yeah, when, when you had a I, thumbnail you had oh a thumbnail God. on one of those videos it just shows the frame of the middle of your video. I remember that shit. Yeah, so you're just like you're just watching a video, and then all of a sudden the video like stops, and it's just like a cool picture, and then it keeps going. <laughs> and it was because you were like editing in a cool thumbnail for it. Um, Dude, yeah. I have some dumbass, disgusting uh, stories from when I was making videos as a kid, bro. <laughs> um, I had an Obi uh, Mauler, and I would put like disguising myself as, and then whatever as PKing. And what I would do is I just put on a random outfit, walk in the wild, turn on auto retaliate and just watch. I wouldn't even eat. I mean, <laughs> it was the dumbest shit. And I remember trying to put music in my videos. I had no idea how. So I just put Pandora right into my mic and I just blared it. Bro. I was like, I oh hope you guys God. like this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so oh bad. God. And then you're asked over your click baiting. Yeah. But I swear to God, I remember that shit where you'd have to put like a random image in the middle of your video dude and i didn't know how to time it so it'd just be like half my video would just be like one picture bro. like oh my you, know, gosh. you know the idea as a kid we we already know everything it's just we suck at executing it yeah yeah, it was yeah. So bad. Uh, 100%. but yo how much uh, did you make selling fire capes by the way in high school man so back when uh like when you go pking with like fire cape or void or anything if you died like you lost it it was gone um so there was some repeat customers for sure. Like one guy, it was like every it was like every weekend. He's like, "Yeah, I died and lost it again. Can you get it back for me?" Like, um, I don't know. It it paid enough for me to be able to, like in high school, walk over to the grocery store every day at lunch and like buy some you know hot meal or something off the shelf and like stuff like that. Like they had those uh, meals to go or whatever. I don't know what you guys call it over there, but like the premium. Um, I definitely guess. never never brought like some some gross leftovers from home for lunches i just always had like a, a bit of cash i'd go and i'd get like a an iced tea for 99 cents and uh you know some chicken fingers or something for like a few dollars like every day i had enough because i was just like <laughs> selling fire capes to people like on the playground it's hilarious so that the kids man bro all the kids man they, they were they like like got, like just looking at you weird like they're like how is he so rich you know like <laughs> How's he getting all this like money every day yeah. <laughs> like they ever like ever like give you that question that because I feel my like parents, in, in school, my parents I, asked and like they couldn't like wrap their head around it. They're like, how like, what do you mean people are paying you to like, I don't understand. I was like, no, no, look, like I'm really good at the game, right? I can kill <laughs> Jad like consistently East and East they're East giving East. me money to do it for them. They're like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I'm like, it makes perfect sense. Come on, just you're old. Like, get over it. So, oh, do you ever get really mad that you were born in the wrong generation? Because like if you did that nowadays, you'd be playing Fortnite, winning millions of dollars in tournaments. But instead yeah. you made like 10 bucks. Doing like a yeah. packets fire cape. Yeah, it's like when you look at everything in life, like crypto, it's like, man, if only I knew, and like stuff like that. Yeah. Like yeah. literally old school RuneScape or like RuneScape 2, just if you just stocked up on party hats, like they're worth so much money now because they're basically like a, its own little cryptocurrency. It's like, yeah, if you could go back and be the only person ever to know how to tick eat when PKing, you could tick eat range hits and mage hits while PKing back in the day. <laughs> No one knew how to do it. No one knew what was happening. Um, just like being able to abuse this stuff like that. You'd be the richest player. You'd be able to sell all the gold online, make a bunch of money, like if that's what you wanted. Or it'd just be hilarious because you're like dominating everyone. I don't know. I don't know if it would be good. It would probably just ruin the game for you if you were like this like massive brain dude like Wooks back in the day. I don't know. Uh -huh. All I yeah. did was get key logged back in the day, so anything would have been yeah. better. But <laughs> Yeah, been there. Been there. <laughs> But your little entrepreneurism kind of reminds me of like the kids nowadays that'll bring like the little e card slider and like a fucking backpack full of uh, Milky Ways and shit, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And they'll just start selling them in class because Michelle Obama took away all the sugar. That yeah. was that was the that was the entrepreneurism of your time, bro. So I can respect that, man. Yeah, dude. So my question is like, it sounds like you were hustling from like a really young age. So as you grew up and you became an adult, like did that kind of like help you in your everyday life? Like with work and stuff like that? Like, did it have any bearing uh, on your future? I definitely don't feel like, like 
it's been so long. Like old school RuneScape came out when I started university, basically. Um, I was what well, it's been eight years or something now. So I was like 18, just going to university and like such a big like life change. Like, I didn't feel like a kid anymore. I didn't feel like it was enjoyable to sell a fire cake for 10 bucks. You realize like your time is worth way more than something like that. Um it in certain senses, like RuneScape's helped with with different things, just like tech skills and typing and whatever, all that stuff. But I definitely don't uh I don't think like, I'm not a hustler at all. Like I don't, I don't like botting. I don't like selling RuneScape stuff or anything like that. I'd rather just be an entertainer at this point. Yeah. Um, so so do, it kind of died out. It kind of died off a bit. Do Do you think it was more of just like you were being an opportunist then, like right time, right place kind of thing? I think so. It was definitely like you, you felt like wow, like people like know that I'm so good at this, like selling fire capes or whatever it was. Like man, like, I want to go to him. I never sold gold because I wanted to be super rich. Like, I just wanted to have all the gold. I never bought gold either. Um, but yeah, I was just like, man, I want to be the richest the richest guy. I can't bring myself to sell gold or anything like that. Do you, but... do you remember how much gold was? Does anyone know? I, I was too I bad. I remember when it was $10, $10 for one mil. I remember back when that's what the prices were. in oh, like Christ, you could have retired, dude. I know you yeah. were like doing crazy shit as a kid bro yeah no exactly that like if you just like look back on it it's like no one realized like if you grind the game you can be super rich whereas i'm just there like i spent i swear a year in remington at the house portal just joining house parties and just messing around like i was wearing like, i was wearing a varex flail and like rune and just like whacking people in someone's dungeon like that's just like such a waste of time when you look back on it like all the the way we all think with like macro efficiency and like all that stuff now where it's like i could like it would hurt me to log into runescape and not like <laughs> grind right now like yeah yeah i miss playing castle wars man just like oh, just castle to play wars castle too. wars you yeah. know yeah for sure I, was, I i i really do regret the fact that like i mean i appreciate efficiency and like understanding that i love like i value time like i've never valued it before but like at the mm. same time man there's that one thing i lost it was just yeah not being efficient <laughs> you know and like yeah. just not thinking about time at all it's like do it and do it and you're like oh shit my mom's telling me to go eat i'm like okay okay i go now you know like it's mm -hmm. like i miss yeah. that i i hate yeah. efficiency man I, i'm gonna play devil's advocate because every time i like go out mm -hmm. in the wild my viewers are like dude where's your like mage cape too bro i'm like i just mm -hmm. died i don't want to put it on <laughs> oh you're not gonna get that like five percent egg dude is that a glory bro fury's only a mil like i could risk 40 mil and they'd be like dude where's your fucking twisted bow bro it's yeah. the most bullshit nowadays no one's happy everyone's mad they're just grinding dude yeah Back of the day you can go anywhere have a conversation and just get lost in it you know yeah. even castle wars you're like oh dude how the fuck did you turn into a sheep bro and you like be trying to figure that out you know <laughs> yeah i find that fascinating too yeah now it's like conversations kind of happen people are just too busy snorting their adderall and grinding their trees bro <laughs> i don't like it yeah yeah my nose getting stuffy no, I'm just you know I've, I've got i've got a theory right so you know you know how like the 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 history timeline of RuneScape has been where, you know, it, it's like we all played, we were all like young, we were all pretty bad at the game, and then pre OC starts to become a thing, and then EOC becomes a thing, and there's a period for what like, it, was it two years between EOC and then the old school servers coming out? Is that about right? Yeah, I think it was like I, a year, I, year or two. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think I think a lot of us, including myself use that time as like reflection. it was the first yeah it was like a reflection it was the first break from playing the game true break and, and <laughs> i did i i genuinely think that there's something to that in the sense of like we we went <laughs> straight back to it but this time we goddamn grinded like we really appreciated what we had and i feel like in a lot of ways we played it differently we played it in a way where it's like this shit might not be around in a few years. Like, we need to get this in now, or... Yeah. I don't know. Just, like, an observation. <laughs> like, I, I think that two-year... Because we always say, like, EOC was the worst thing ever, and, you know, and, and it was bad, but I feel like without it, we wouldn't be here today, you know? Imagine if it never happened and old school just continued. It may have just fizzled out, you oh, know? I think it would have, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, but that's only because they ran it like shit anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not yeah, like no, before EOC, yeah. it was like the best game. They were taking away free trade, messing around with PvP. Who knows what they were going to do with old school if they didn't turn to EOC. I'm sure it would have died still. Um, I think under 
like better guidance, which was not there for sure, but could have became like a, a behemoth. But no, nah, yeah. not under their guidance. Definitely would have died. So. Yeah, I mean, those two years that I could barely play RuneScape because like you know, motivation was low, right? It's only when updates, like big boss updates, come out. I would I would play for whatever. Are and, you talking about when EOC was out, right? Yeah, yeah, during those two years before old school, right? I mean, like, I like to look at every, like, shortcomings as, like, a, a potential for something better. Like, you know, those two years gave me a lot of time to think about IRL stuff, you know? Like, you know, focus on school and, like, focus on the future outside of just playing, you know, and having fun, whatever. That was great, yeah. but, yeah, like, like so, so, so it wasn't always a terrible thing, you know? It was just a good, good way to... Remember that there were other stuff I gotta do, but but once old school came out though, for sure, it felt like man, I just like I just had an opportunity to start my life over again, you know, in a way, you know. And this time, <laughs> I know better now, you know. I know how yep. to not get scammed. I know where all the mo- like what where where to get the good drops. Like I know where the rune schemes are. I knew the secret spots for fire gems. I was like, I'm gonna play this like it's you know like I'm a god, you know. Basically, like I knew I knew everything. Like, all these years of failures, like I can make it perfect now. And I certainly did try my best to do it. It was really fun, for sure. Man, can can yeah. you imagine if, like, this was just, like, th- this is just a part of the master plan. Like, there was a masterminded Jagex that were like, we're going to take away what they love, so that long term, they're going to have it for longer. Like, we're yeah. going to take away the, we're going to take away the drug, and then they're just going to relapse so fucking hard, <laughs> it's going to ruin their lives again. <laughs> God damn it. was the plan. Should have been, bro. I mean, that's what's happened, right? Like, we're here, man. I'm t- I don't know about you guys. I'm 28. I'm still playing RuneScape. And sometimes that I have to think about that. I'm like, I- I've almost played this game for 20 years. And yep. when I tell people, they're just like, how? And, and it's like, what? Well, it's like you've got <clears throat> to play the game. Like, you won't understand. Like, because most people compare it to like Call of Duty. M- most people are casual gamers they can play a few hours in the evening which is like the majority of people but like the way that we've played runescape it's like we have dedicated our lives to this game and it's a grinds you know man that goes really well into what i was thinking about man a little brain teaser where would you guys think you would be right now if you never found runescape dude if you were never sucked into it would you have found another game uh, would you have fucking made it in life, dude? Maybe presidency, dude? Mayor? I, mean, I don't think making it in life is becoming a president, though. You know? What's a president? Nah, I'm not yeah. saying, like, well, <laughs> honestly, if I if I was president, I felt like I'd make it in life, dude. But really? I also okay. probably wouldn't. Yeah, to be honest, honest. <laughs> I don't really know what making it in life really is other than, the other than like, just right, being it's a, overall positive, you know? It's a bad <laughs> frame, all right? Bad sense. Where would you be right now if RuneScape didn't exist, dude? <clears throat> Yo, dude, I'd be like some marketer guy or like working in like, like, um, you know, investing in sh- probably, I don't know, something like that. I'd probably just follow the family trade kind of thing, you know? Your right. family's an investor? Well, no, what are, like our influential, the most influential part of the family, you know? Damn, they, bro, hook me up, dude. What you mean? You need, you guys need an assistant or some shit? What are you guys doing you over there? You gotta know Chinese though, bro. Bro, I have you. <laughs> you just sit right next to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, no, no, no. <laughs> we'd be the duo team yeah google Bro, translate I'll... that's that's the way to go yo 24 7 hey say that again <laughs> yeah. i mean I'll, I'll say this in the in the two years the first two years of like stopping playing runescape during eoc i got my first girlfriend and i got fucking shredded like i was literally like an addict who Dude, I then need had pick. nothing to do. I need a break, right? bro. So mm-hmm. I, I, bro, I, I've actually got a fucking transformation video on my YouTube somewhere. I can link it to if you really Please. want to see it. But anyways, yes, it's very old. But basically, I went, I went from playing video games, being overweight, uh, just fucking, you know, just nerding out in my room <laughs> all day, bro. Like, do you know? I was speaking to my friend about this yesterday. Okay, and I was like, I was like, dude, you know when we were teenagers and like we used to hang out. I was never there. Like, I was, like, checked out, bro. Like, we would be, like, just chilling. Like, we'd be doing whatever, like, watching something or hanging out in the fields, whatever it was. And, like, mentally, <clears throat> I was just in RuneScape, like, Ice Barash. Like, I was just yeah. thinking about, like, 99 <laughs> Mage. I need to get home. I, I need to fucking, I need to sell my Torag's helmet when I get back. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was there, but I was not yeah. present, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. But honestly, I'll be completely honest, man. I think if RuneScape never existed and I didn't play it, 
I would probably be one of the suckers who fell for the um you remember when all the celebrities got hacked on Twitter and Elon <laughs> Musk was like, yo, I'll double your Bitcoin, just send it. I'd have probably done that, you know? That would have probably mm. been what happened to me. So I'm like, you gotta send send the Indian Prime Minister all the money and he'll he'll double it or some shit. Probably like, it's me, yeah. your African brother. You know? <laughs> 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 you know? <laughs> like, oh my god. Damn, what Rice, that was it? that was good, bro. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I believe no, it. Don't tell, anyone my, believe it. don't tell anyone my my talents, okay? Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that to myself because that was so magical. <laughs> Man, someone needs someone needs to clip that. Someone needs to clip that, that from this podcast. Someone you know, can clip. Did you can clip cross, on YouTube dude, now? By the way, no, That's they're gonna cross reference my voice with like all these other scams, and they're like, it's him the whole time. I'm like, no, it's not. Dude, no, if someone clips that, I will use it for my videos. I will. Yeah, you need it as a sound. You need like a little sound clip for stuff. I will, dude. I've been using too much buy from uh, a friend, dude. I got to mix it up, dude. My brother. I'll be using that shit for, for now. Uh, Flava, where would you be, bro, if you didn't find RuneScape, dude? Man, I don't even know how. Like, there was 24 hours in a day back then as well as now. Like, it's a weird concept, I know. But I still, like, played sports i was playing hockey you know canadian you gotta play hockey hey. there's, so there's <laughs> ice team. hockey in the winter and then in the summer like it's just as hot, hot here as it is in florida right like it, it's a we live in a weird climate man before i go too far we had a, a storm two days ago um and i'm one of the only houses in my city of a million people that has power right now like it it was hurricane speed Jeez. winds that just leveled our entire city anyways like we oh, live in a weird man. spot so in the winter we're playing ice hockey you're playing hockey like outside at the rinks that like the city just throws up a, a rink in every single park um so you're doing that you're playing ball hockey in the summer which is the same thing but on the street with a ball and and stuff and then i was playing soccer uh i played trumpet in the school band for like five years i played piano i took piano lessons from when i was three years old till i was 16 like I was so busy and I still just like any free time, like a sit, like my mom always said, like, can you do something other than play RuneScape when you're at home? It was like, if I was at home, I was on RuneScape. If I wasn't at home, I was playing sports. I was like doing stuff like all the time. So I feel like I didn't miss out on, on much. Like I, I got to the point, uh, I think I was like, you know, so you're 16 or whatever. And I was like, okay, you know, it's high school. If I get invited to hang out with people or to a party or something, and I want to play RuneScape instead, don't like, I'm going to the party. And even if I'm not mentally present and I'm thinking about ice barrages and 99 moves like <laughs> Rakesy was, like, still go. It's like, it was just like healthy. And I feel like that was a mature decision to make where it's like, you know, play RuneScape like crazy when you can, but don't give up the rest of life just for it. So uh, I feel like I had a good balance. Um, and if I had that extra free time where RuneScape didn't exist, I probably would have played another video game, to be honest. Like, it's so, it's, it's just a lot yeah. of fun. I don't think I would have been this like, you know, professional athlete or this businessman or the African brother or anything like that. Like I would have <laughs> definitely would have definitely probably still played like I played Call of Duty and stuff too. Like I don't know, that do, social do you, aspect. Do you think that there would have been a replacement for RuneScape? Like is there another game that has the same substance? Yeah. Like what 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 would have been your pick? Would it, would you have gone World of Warcraft, Eve Online? Like what do you think you would have played? I don't think, I, I know I said my parents bought a $6,000 computer. They would not have paid for World of Warcraft for me. There's no way. It was like, it was expensive, wasn't it? Like so, 50 a month, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 15, it was insane. literally 15. 15 a month, uninflated. Yeah. You know? And I remember membership was like four ninety nine Canadian. And like, that's when I finally convinced them after playing for two years of free to play to, to let me in, uh, into the member, <laughs> you know, like, let me through that gate in Falador. Um, so yeah, definitely. I don't know. Like there'd definitely be another game. I don't know if I would have played video games as early, right? Like 10 years old playing video games. No one else was. Um, maybe I'd pick it up when like Call of Duty was big in high school and people were like, yeah, you should play this Call of Duty. But now you got to think, what if there were no video games? There's like no technology like this. Like where would we be? That would be a completely different topic. I, like, yeah, I'd say there were like the like in the earlier computer days, there were like the few generations of gamers right there's like the early days mmo gamer and then like the call of duty console yeah. gamers and then there's like the league of legend players the minecrafters i feel like there were like these stages right it, like and yeah. you kind of like, look back you're like wow you're these points well then, i like, mean the thing crazy. is like most most normal <laughs> people right i'm gonna be honest man most normal people play one game for 20 years 
right? <laughs> Most normal people Not say, normal, oh, yo, dude, Luke, there's this game called RuneScape on Miniclip. Let's check it out. And they play it for like a week. And then they're like, oh, dude, there's a, there's a game called World of Warcraft. Let's check it out. And they jump to World of Warcraft. And they're like, dude, Guild Wars is a thing. Let's go and play some Guild Wars. And they just go from like healthily in taking a little bit of it, you know, here and there. Not many people go the whole fucking nine yards, bro, and they're playing yeah. it 20 years later. I feel like that's the thing with RuneScape. It's unlike a lot of other games, you know? There's mm. just so much here. It, it, dude, how they've not made, like, a, an in-depth, like, documentary on this game? There needs to be on a addiction. company that, like, on, on a dude on addiction and also like this game bro like to like imagine like normal people looking at this game and there's a documentary where they're just like this person right here stood in game has been playing this same game for 20 years but is that shit not interesting you it know? is interesting let's make a uh, pact boys in 20 years when this game is probably dead hopefully not and, we'll go and, find sir not. pugger and the rest of our money and and just fucking fund a RuneScape documentary, bro. Yeah. And we're going to get right on Netflix, dude. And we're going to bring that shit back. Netflix right? is gone in 20 years, I'm telling you. Probably. Like, yeah, being really things are moving lately. so quickly. There's no way. Like, yeah. Well, whatever is, you know, TikTok. Yeah. I, honestly, if TikTok's yeah. a thing, it'll we be a rice, 20 cup, years rice only, cup flicks by then. <laughs> rice cup flicks. The Nigerian prince. It'll be yeah. Netflix, you know, or some shit. No, that's what I wonder <laughs> back. Like, just thinking, like, what do you, like, uh, our parents' generation, even, like, <laughs> before stuff, like, you know, you can play a video game. Like, do you just yeah. sit at home and read a book? Like, do you, like, what do you do with have, your Have you ever time? seen like, Charlie Brown? Uh, it's like that. Briefly, they would, you know, like, yeah. They would invite people over and, like, bob for apples, and that's it. They would just oh stand gosh. there. No, I see, I asked my mom, like, did you guys ever bob for apples? She goes, yeah, a couple times. Like, damn, it happened more yeah. than once. <laughs> like, what do you, yeah. that's gross. You just put your mouth and then fish for, yeah, just hay rides. Yeah, you know, and they had like little trees yeah. they'd sing around. Honestly, it was like Charlie Brown. I, I'm pretty sure that's what the '70s and I, '60s was like, and then right. drugs. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, even like even my early childhood, like before computers and stuff like that, and video consoles. Like, I remember playing like Conkers, like where you would get an acorn and you would like drill a hole through it, put a bit of string through it, right. And then you'd fucking smash it on whoever you're playing against. And it's like, the person who's, like, acorns left is the fucking conqueror. Like, I used to play that when I was a little kid, man. I used to play marbles. Like, and then as soon as I, I discovered, like, the Sega Mega Drive, I was just like, dude, I'm not even gonna lie, man. My parents should have known better, bro. As soon as they got us a Sega Mega Drive, we didn't have the N64, because unfortunately, that costed money. The Sega Mega Drive was free, because it was my uncle's. Um... As a little boy, I literally sat playing like Sonic mm -hmm. until I pissed my pants on the Sega Mega Drive. Fair. Like, nice. Addicted from that age. You are, know, you I was rank, only like... are you rank two smithing as well, or <laughs> no. no, dude? I'm only oh. eight, you free smithing. Hey, oh, hey boys, gosh. hey boys, should we do the tile man real quick so and then get back into it so we don't forget? <laughs> To do yeah, yeah, yeah. we've yeah. been all standing here and uh <laughs> ready to go and this bot there's been a bot that's just been killing the the ducks here so yeah it's pretty fun dude as soon oh, as we are jumping into content my throat just died for no reason one sec you guys yeah all right everybody take a quick coughing break well mm -hmm. i think it was oh. the part about me pissing myself playing sonic yeah I I maybe it. <clears throat> dude all right i'm back oh sorry about that so right. <laughs> we're gonna let Flomple pick our starting spot. Uh, should I pop the screen up, boys? Shall mm. I... Yeah, we're ready. All right. Now, before you guys say what the fuck is this, <laughs> we're getting a new overlay. Okay, <laughs> this is old. Don't judge us. It's gonna get fixed, probably for only this episode. I, like I don't want to hear. I don't want to look at the comments and read this shit. All right. All right. So dude, I like the dude, is, <laughs> Wait, is is there a way to fix that though? I don't feel like there is. Like you just. Go I mean, that's all screen, the right? that's all the real estate we got. It's a tall <laughs> rectangle, you know. No, it's a tall right. rectangle. We're gonna find a way, bro. All right. This ain't no, gonna just, be just, just just put it sideways. They can just yeah, tilt their head to sideways. <laughs> No, what you do is you put you put the RuneScape screen as the whole thing, and then each of us get like a tiny, like minuscule little icon, and you put it on top of like each of the skill icons. <laughs> Yo, That's Mike, small Mike, I, I have an even better idea, bro. Just take your webcam and literally just just do this. Yeah. Right? Mine's not that uh, loose. No, you sir. do it. You do it then, Rexy. You do it. Yeah. No, this is fine though because we're only going to show our starting yeah. spot, and then we're going to unlock some squares, and we're going to swap mm. right back on over, and, and then the next stream. Yeah. 
hopefully if we get enough likes we could start diving into the series and uh yeah. honestly yeah it's not gonna be like this yeah <laughs> leftover likes from this video will be added to the next video too so yep all right and Flomp, we'll see, we'll from the previous video as well Mm, yep. All right, Flop. Where are we starting, bro? This man picks, hey, dude. So I've done a lot of thinking for. Uh, again, I said I've wanted to be on the podcast since I was three. So <laughs> since I was three, I've been brainstorming for this moment, and I think the best tile to start on is this one right here, because the duck will walk right. over. Yeah, no pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah get it, get it good there. That's <laughs> I'm pressure. trying, bro. It's failing me. All right, no there pressure. we go. There we That's go. good. I like it. That looks good, dude. So uh -huh. right here, I I tested it. The duck does come to the tile right there, and you can melee it from there. It <laughs> has negative. Spot. It has negative defense stats, so you're gonna be able to just like demolish these things. <laughs> okay, it's got negative forty two crush, which so we got a melee spot, spot, bro. Yo, yeah, can so we do the spawn timer so we know how long it takes to spawn. <laughs> if it takes a while to spawn, just hop. I did not look into that. I oh, didn't have enough hop. time since I was. Yeah. Flapple's too good at this game, dude. All right. Now okay. we need to guys. choose. The, so this is this doesn't count as our first step. This is just our starting spot. So where would you okay. like us to go, ten step wise, dude? So I think uh, you know, just thinking like where you could go from here. Of course, content around here. Um, definitely, just straight to mole. Uh, and that should be your next. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're gonna just you're gonna get some starting cash by coming over here right. and being able to chop this tree. So that line One, that I just two, made three, um, four. yeah, the line that I make on the diagonal too. You got to get that diagonal in there. Oh shit! Wait. No, no, here. that's good. And then yeah. just mark the tile I'm on. Right, oh, we cool. can diagonal One, walk. Two, I forgot three, about that. Guys. Four, five, six. Okay, that's yeah. six. So you, can we got chop, a tree. you can chop that tree. And you can you can kill the duck. Maybe if the duck's respawning, you come over and chop the tree. Get the, <laughs> so you want to get that wood cutting up a little bit. No, this is insane. Right? Right? And then and then we're yeah, coming down. Log, man. Oh yeah, we coming can burn down it, huh? diagonal. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Burn, burn it on the straight. Burn it on the straight, or otherwise you're gonna use up a tile. I won't let me burn it on here anyways, dude. For some reason. All right, let's go. Burn our. Oh, I can't light one here. I can't light one what here. Oh, yo, pushed? best day, dude. Watch, it's, it's, gonna push, it's gonna push you like the wrong direction. Watch. Then we gotta then restart. Don't you go? Right? You go. You go west when you burn it. Abort. Abort. No! Abort. abort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll like burn it later. Over. Come over to this tile here. Okay, so okay, okay. you go diagonal and then you come down to here. And All then right. when you burn this, it'll go west. I was gonna say just go Seven, to here. Eight. Uh, and if there's one more tile. No, uh, nine, nine. I yeah. think ten. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we did it. Nice. This is our starting spot. We're You've got the escape. tree and the duck, and that'll be some combat XP, some wood cutting, some fire making. And d I'm doing it because I'm planning ahead, right? The next step would be the oak tree here. And then you've got the guards, which have a 1 in 21.48 or something chance of dropping an iron dagger, which is like actually very poggers. How do so, we kill it? Um, <laughs> oh, I just went the ducks, bro. Boy, yeah, train on the ducks, and you'll be able to absolutely. We gotta restart. Hey, hey, no, 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 it's okay because we still have ours. We still have ours, dude. We still have our tiles to do. <laughs> okay, so we gotta do that one then. Huh? Yeah. Um. So you, what we could do is every ten tiles, we can just mark the number ten or something. You know. Yeah. So that we can yeah. easier to keep track of where the frick we're right. right. And yeah, you can. Yeah, label so I was gonna it. say, come over, yeah. get the oak tree, and then just come out here. So you've got the guards. And then eventually Whoa. you can unlock the uh, the oh um, the store here, the general store, and sell some oak longbows to it for some cash. You can go into the the shield shop and get yourself a nice looking. What do they even sell here? Yo, this is actually insane. I'm very an close. iron <laughs> square shield. Gaming. Oh man, I am. I gotta say, Flomple's first ten squares has more thought than all of Rixie's plans for Lava Dragon <laughs> struggle. <laughs> I agree. This, dude, these first ten <laughs> steps are in the dude. These first ten steps are in the perfect direction for the plan. Yeah. Look, All right. I guess, this is where this is where we're going, dude. This is perfect. <laughs> if he if he sent us east or south, he's trolling. But we're yeah. gaming. Okay. Okay. Dude, so crazy. Flomble, Ninety nine and everything right there. Dude, thank you. So it is the perfectest spot and start ever. Mm -hmm. Um, how many squares do we have now from the last episode? Eleven. We got a. So, so we got no, 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 no. We got twelve. We, so oh, twelve. Right, so we got one hundred and twenty likes on the podcast oh, okay. with Pip 12. right now. Yeah. So we got twelve steps in one now, day. Here's the thing, boys. Every ten, every ten likes on this video, one tile. 
and uh, that goes for the last one as well now unfortunately we only uploaded that video yesterday so you know there's going to be likes coming in we're aware of that we're going to use those in the next podcast so don't worry your likes will be accounted for but we have 12 young well we have 11 i already used one so do you guys do you guys round down like if you had 119 likes would you round down to 11 i think we round up i think we round up I don't know. Yeah, because right? if you're rounding down, I'm unliking the video, and you guys only get eleven. So <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no we dude, we'll up. round. We'll be generous. Round yeah, up. Dude, no, this is just nice. one extra. You know, no, you you want you want more likes, so you it's can't true. round. You gotta ra- You cannot round up. You gotta say no. We're at one nineteen. <laughs> we need someone to like it for one point. You know, damn, you gotta be strict true, like that. History okay, teacher. okay, okay. Flampo's yeah. our god. He literally got yeah. us started off strong. Should I go. um try to get us towards the shop then with the remainder steps? What do you think? You have yeah, to. I think that'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. That'd be, so that'd be ten. Smart. No, it's eleven. So I got ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Yo, yo, yo. Take seven, a square so we can six, cut this tree if five. need be. Um, yeah, you've got one there. You've got oh, yeah, one. It's yeah. already next to it. Four, three, <laughs> two. <laughs> can I? Uh... I just go right there. No. What? No, don't go That's there. Don't go to that one. Don't go to that one. That's Undo it. Undo it. That's oh, not yeah, the yeah. general store. That's a shield store. We want the general, dude. We don't ah, want the shield yeah. store. Ah, yeah, keep going west. Keep going okay. west. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can. Oh, yo, you can tile. Uh, mark this. Like, unmark. Yeah, tile. yeah. Label it. Label it. Wait, mark tile. Label. label okay. It. Yeah. Label it. Uh, the number we have. Yeah. yeah. All right. There we go. All right. I'll label our yeah. starting spot to you real quick. Yeah. This oh, is this is crazy. Watch out for the diagonal, bro. We can't. You gotta, get, you gotta spend a few, uh, you know, maybe 10, 20 hours killing that duck before you can take on a guard because you're a hardcore. Yeah, but... yeah, man. You should mark every ten though, just so like we don't lose track. Because like if we if we like accidentally overdo it and then someone like tells us we you know that way we can like recount from a, a, a late a, a like closer point rather than like you know. All right, I want to say this is getting ten, one, two, three, four, like five, six, 10, seven. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, um, there you go. That, by that the way, if, a lot twenty. If these Number aren't 20. like pitch perfect chat, hopefully it is. <laughs> don't ever mention it, all right? Because now you get fixed. This is this is top tier right here, all right? So there's a start, there's a step, and the more you guys support the channel, the bigger this series gets. And um, I was actually off stream talking with Rice. Rakes, he wasn't there. He was grabbing some uh, some food. So mm. I just throw this idea up. Once the series gets bigger, I'm thinking. Not anytime soon, but once we start making money, maybe we can burn the money for steps. 1,000 gold equals one step. Drop it on the floor. Get some steps, dude. Mm. Yeah, there yeah. can definitely put, do some side goals like that for sure. You could do XP. You could do gold. Dude, I, you could do... I yeah. feel like yeah. man, you're sabotaging the whole you know purpose of this account, man, to try <sighs> and fucking get likes, dude. No, what no, are you no, saying? No. <laughs> We're not even rich. Okay, that's an idea. Also, last idea, and I'm thinking if we ever do hit, and we will hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, we could add like a little roadmap. And when we hit 10K <laughs> likes, we can go for some goals. Maybe like 200 total <laughs> equals some steps. You know, just some basic shit. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll, we'll, we will let the community s- decide. Just throwing yeah. it out there, bro. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. could be good. Could be good, man. For now. We got this. Thank you so much. Shout out to Mr. Flampo. That was honestly so cool. Honestly, I just love the idea and the execution. It was so cool. You know, he like sorted us out with combat immediately. Within like six tiles, we already gained wood cutting, fletching, firing. Two wood cutting. Oh my god. Two wood cutting. cutting, uh, There was a hidden. There was a hidden goal. Two wood cutting is a hundred tiles. So let's start going. We're already in Varrock. We need um, to get yeah. ourselves a knife, bro. Yo, is that guy playing Tile Man too? Oh, wait, that, that's just you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but right, um, yo, can, can we show off the, the general store from the horizon, please? You know, we could try. Let me see. Yeah, yo, so that's our goal. Expand your view, please. Expand your view distance, please. Oh, it's right uh, there. Look look at it, guys. Right there. It's so Let close. Let me see. What is it? Please like distance video. Or something? Please like video, guys. I would love you forever. E- even the people that don't like me, please like the view. Don't oh, like there it. There we go. You know. that was so ah, funny. look at that. Oh, so that's our goal, dude. Next episode, Yo. we're reaching the. Um, you need twelve tiles to get to the door. Oh my god, he and figured that's it out. The shop, that's where the shopkeeper is. The shopkeeper's <laughs> right in the door entry. So twelve. We need another hundred and twenty likes. Oh my god, that's we're gonna easy. be so rich. We can buy yeah. a shield. So next episode, 
you're going to see, one, a better layout of the screen, promise. Two, hopefully a general store. Um, mm. uh, but yeah, I think I'm just going to woodcut this random tree and then the we'll just tree. switch over to yeah, and then we'll just switch over to this. So just while uh, we're we're podcast, just know I'm I'm messing this tree up. All Yo, right. I am gonna promote this on my main channel just because yeah. this is such an interesting idea. Look at you know, you know, man. I just gotta say when Rakesy was given his strategy, you know, he's like, all right, we're gonna go get that ten thousand gold. We're gonna go get the lava dragons. I was like, yeah, dude, that sounds amazing. And Rice was like, dude, this is some dumbass bullshit, yeah, bro. And then Plop will come on. He's like. Bro, Here Fongle's is the most innovative. perfect 10 squares. And Rice is yeah. like, this is the shit right here. No, I'm going to really? promote it on my no, channel, because, baby. This is the best. The difference like, is that we got stuff done already. Whereas, yo, 10,000 gold, that's, how many steps is that? Like, that's, uh, literally, steps. That's, I guarantee you that's like 300 steps and you would not survive either. That's a hardcore yeah, with 10 like, HP yeah. and no food. Well, that's why I'm that's sorry. why we gotta train up on that duck, man. We gotta get yeah. some HP levels. We're gonna be good. Uh, listen, listen, listen. This is the thing, right? The flample gods, boys. <laughs> you guys need to like the podcast, okay? Every ten of you, it's one tile, okay? It's very significant. We need, we need at least a thousand likes a podcast because we want to be moving places. Like we want to get fucking moving, bro. If we get a thousand likes on this podcast, we're a third of the way, okay? If that ever happens, like, Rapesy will dedicate at least four hours a night to just grinding in between these. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm seriously people. promoting on my main channel, so so this should hopefully get some extra traction. The, oh, I, yeah. I love it, man. I love it, bro. I'll Yo, do it too. Great I start spot. Think, I was trying to think, like, what could the end goal be? You know, like, we've got different Tileman accounts doing, like, oh, Inferno or, you know, solo a, a raid or something like that. Just unlock every single tile that you can walk on in the game. That should be the goal for the OSRS podcast. That should be it. Get every single tile. You don't stop until you have that. Honestly, yeah. We're going to not stop until we get every content creator in JMod on and every yeah. square unlocked in, in this game. That's it. Um, but if you guys want to like kind of think of what this is going to be like in a month, we're just going to hit these very small steps man we're gonna make it to the store make it a lava dragons nothing nothing big but enough to where i'm excited about it rice is losing his shit down there it's it's gonna be sweet man all right and then no, maybe what's the first we'll 99 boys what's okay. we'll the first 99 <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, you know why yeah. we get oak trees or two on the way so that's a yeah. big deal you've already got the oak tree unlocked so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. should i burn the logs dude or should i drop them for sure yeah. No, burn them, dude. Bro, be well, we, well, we need money. Right? Dude, right. knife them into arrows. Make them into arrow shafts. We got yeah, no yeah. knife, dude. We got to get a knife. Yeah, oh, yeah, no we, knife. yeah, yeah. We got to get to the general store first. There's no knife in the general store. What? Shit. Where do we go for oh, a knife? No, Wait. we need to find our next do we, knife. Do we got to go to Alcarid for that shit? Is you got a lamp? No, no, no. You got you to gotta lamp your hunter up. I've been trying to light this fire for like 10 minutes. This is shit. <laughs> Look at this. Bro. What the fuck? Wait, just bro, cut I think multiple. You're, I think you're, wait, 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 wait. I think that log's gonna push you into the. No, no, no. We go, we go this way. Go. Uh, well, we'll never, we'll never know, dude. <laughs> uh, Listen, is right. I know you're not. I know you're not a skiller, but yeah! the normal way that people do this is, is they get a full inventory of logs and then they burn they them. streak it and then they streak dude, it. Dude, I got enough yeah. to where I'm not gonna get out of my dinger. All right, I know, I believe. Look at this. All <laughs> yep. right, that's time, man. I, I want to move on to the Make next it, subject please. because this subject is incredibly sexy. Um, Bumple tweeted Ahmad Ash about <laughs> yep. the Grand Exchange burn. And if you guys didn't know, there's a burn going on in the Grand Exchange, which that means there's a tax. Item sink, a.k.a. item sinking. Yeah, 2% yeah. tax when you use a Grand Exchange, and then that money from the 2% tax goes into a vault that buys items from the Grand Exchange and burns them. So... Not a lot of people know about that. That's kind of something that's trying to fluctuate the economy. And Flopple tweeted at Mod Ash. And if you want to go over through that tweet, Flopple. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's actually... Shout out Mod Ash for being, like, the best moderator or anything. Like, I don't know if other games have a Mod Ash. But, like, yeah. Mod Ash is special. just the way he responds to the community. He was responding to me last night, which is a Sunday night, at, like... 10 o'clock my time, which is Eastern. So it was like 2 a.m. or like 3 a.m. for him. He's a robot. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. He must be a robot. I think he, I think he just genuinely robot. loves RuneScape and, and I think the he does, community, yeah. bro. And it's just rare to see that. I <laughs> think so. He, he may so, not love us, but he loves RuneScape. He loves me. So, 
<laughs> I think some some context on it was back in April 2021. I uh, I tweeted out. Um, do you guys remember when Soup posted a picture of look at all these items and what they cost right now? And it was like a Dex was like I, it was like 10 mil or something. Like Arcane was like 600k. Like yeah. Dark Bow 200k. Like everything was in like the dumps. And I was like, okay, hey, I've had this idea for a bit. I've never like actually propose it on reddit or twitter or anything so i was i made a nice little thread of tweets where i said we gotta we gotta get some some item sync in the game um the death mechanics were relatively new at that time where when you die you gotta pay a little bit of cash to get your stuff back so what i was saying like right now that cash just gets deleted and it's gone why don't we take that pool of money from item sinks uh from cash sinks i should say like you know construction cash goes into planks and it's gone from the game um the new death mechanics cash goes to the grim reaper and it's gone you know do stuff like that take that cash and take half of it and just go on a shopping spree in the grand exchange buy a bunch of items and delete them so that was the idea that i that i proposed uh the next day it was on the uh the runescape pod uh, not podcast the the live stream they were talking about it right away they're like yeah we saw this thing in the community and then we thought it was really cool um so they were talking oh, about man. it and they said they said we should do it with the GE tax, and they're and I was like, yeah, that's perfect. Do GE tax? You could do half of all the money that you pay to death. You could do every time you pay for an instance, a little bit of that cash goes to delete another Bandos chest plate of the game. Um, so that was the idea originally, and then a couple of days ago, I was like, you know, they implemented it, but we haven't heard anything about it, like nothing. Mm -hmm. Are they even doing it? Like prices of uh, stuff have gone up a little bit. As you can see, in in general, like the Tebow was what nine hundred mil at one point. And it's back up, uh, stuff like that. So I just I tweeted at Mod Ash and I was like, "What's this? Like, is there a script that's deleting stuff? Like, do you have any numbers on it? Like, what's going on?" Um, so he replied, and I've got the tweet here somewhere. Um, he replied that there's been eight thousand six hundred dark bows deleted from the game <laughs> since they implemented this in December. And what's the price? And then. Six. And so, yeah, I'm I'm pulling that up as well. I've got the numbers on hand here. So if I look at the dark oh, bow, oh, bro, I yeah, from mm. from December till now, mm. yeah, they were in December they were 400k. They peaked at 1.1 mil, and now oh. they're about 800k. So mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm. that's like slow. Like okay, if there's a hundred dark bows coming in per game, they're not going anywhere. People don't lose them. No one's alking them unless they're alk value. Um, so just by deleting them slowly through that GE tax, like it, it is definitely helping for sure. So you oh, can see yeah, with the yeah. dark bow, mm -hmm. uh, the Din's bulwark was the other one that mint mad cow jumped on. He was like, yo, what about the Denny B? Like what's going on with that? We gotta, <laughs> so, uh, what did he tweet for that one? How many were deleted? I remember. Here? So apparently 700 bulwarks have been deleted. Yeah. 30 a week. That's a lot. Not including yeah. the ones I'm buying, of course, you know, but <laughs> dude, I won share that love of mod ash um but too mid i feel like the burning of items from the game is yeah. is like one of the simplest but easiest ways to just yeah. regulate this economy uh mm -hmm. did you ever like for you were saying like death tax and like all this other stuff do, are do they use that money as well or is it just ge they're just doing the ge right now is what uh, is what they said if, so if the my JMRC idea was this, to use everything yeah yeah for real like why wouldn't you take every all the money getting absolutely destroyed in the game just gone and yep. use that to buy back the items mm -hmm. why not because i was thinking ge but my mind was closed i didn't even think like they could use all of this money bro yeah and i don't know what the like they've got all that like they've got a, a data like management department you know like they've got people that run these numbers to see like how the game's working i'd love for them to like look at the game and see okay how many twisted bows come in per week and what's like how many new players are getting to that point where they need a twisted bow and just get it so it's like net neutral right like we want <laughs> if you want the tebow to stay one bill you need to have as many people <laughs> needing a tebow as there are in the game. Like eventually, if they didn't delete them, there's gonna be too many Tebos and they will literally be alk value. Like you just think of it, this game's been 17 years. It already failed once in my eyes when they had brought a Yoc and like economy there was garbage until they put out a skill to fix it. Um, like garbage. this game, this this game would have been the exact same thing. Like everybody in the game would have rigor on their account. So it, it's worth alk value. So that's why deleting deck scrolls from the game slowly is is helping <laughs> that. So I think, yeah, whatever they can do to see 
how many are coming in how many do we need to delete just get the money from somewhere you've got it you're the i paid my butler like 100 mil for my planks for 99 construction on my iron man like there's gotta be you take that cash and start deleting stuff like come on that's right. like um, that's 10 dins bulwarks that we can get out of here come and, on and you were saying like you didn't even know if it was happening you know yeah I I didn't, we didn't hear anything about it no for Prices real like i was, was wondering climbing, but... like are they still yeah. burning bulwarks do you think god mod ash is coming out with some info um yeah Honestly, this idea they have could be expanded on so well. Like, what if they had a burn vault in the Grand Exchange where you could literally open it, see the money and what items it's burning, and then how much it's burned on, a, on like, a basis, right? Because they have all this data. Why not show it to us so we can keep track? And then mm -hmm. even expand upon that idea. Why not allow the community to help? Yeah. Why not there be a community chest where they can just add to it? People are rich. Yeah. I'm sure they'll throw a couple mil here and there just to burn items out of the game. I would. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd throw in some so money here, here and there. Here's, just here's some complications with that, right? So the reason why the GE works um, so, like, in a way, in harmony is because when you buy, a, when, when 100 of this, this one particular thing gets traded, that particular thing gets deleted once, right? Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Or 50. Or was it 50? It's 2%. Yeah. So, if, so if it's so so if, if fifty of that particular thing gets traded, then out of that, one of them gets deleted. The problem with using other GP from other sources to delete items is that what item would get deleted, right? Then it becomes arbitrary, and then you have to kind of like, as as a human, decide what to burn. Whereas the GE doesn't really decide what to burn; it's just based yeah. on a rule, right? And it's a yeah. one rule. It's just one rule, right? 50 of that item that they, that gets traded back and forth, one of that will get deleted. And it's always like, you know, very straightforward. So all you they need, didn't, uh, yeah. sorry, go ahead, Min. Oh, I was just gonna throw it. All you need is just one more simple rule. Like mm -hmm. every a thousand items during that day, you'll burn that, right? With the extra yeah. money, just like an extra rule on whatever the most traded item of that day is, you know, mm -hmm. they could do it. Something where they just gotta add just a little more to it to where we're not gonna vote on things because obviously when we vote, that could be like, you know, oh, this yeah. merch clan just stocked up on cabbage shields. Maybe everyone votes to burn more of those. No, that would be bad, right? But if it was just an item that would have high volume that day, maybe, yeah. right? Sorry, so, what are you saying, Flopple? Yeah, no. So I, I wanted to see like what is so like you've got a I, I wanted to know, is there a script that deletes these? Or are you just like a JMod jumps on, takes a bunch of cash, buys stuff and deletes it? Like either way works. That's what I when I initially proposed it, I was like, I know they're gonna say engine work, that it's not gonna worry. Like, so just do it manually. Mm -hmm. Like we we have the capability, let's get this done. Yeah. Um, so I asked him and he said, Yeah, there's there's a script that deletes stuff. And I said, okay, how does the script work? Like, how does it know when to delete an item? Is it one, you know, every 50 sold, do they delete one? Is it every 200 sold, do you delete one? Like, what is the script? <clears throat> they said they wouldn't tell us that, but they have a quota for deletion. So internally, they've got probably like a team that's picking items and like saying, okay, you know, we've we've seen 100 Tebos come into the game this week. Let's, let's get rid of 10 of them. You know, something like that. Um, so we don't, I don't know if they'll ever tell us. He said that they wouldn't share those details um maybe if we all begged maybe they'd give us a little insight into it but <clears throat> the way the way i initially proposed it was you know it's taking one percent of when you die like if you die and you lose a bcp that's 20 mil it would take you know one percent of that cash you'd have to buy it back for 200k so every hundred people that die and buy a bcp back then you can <clears throat> delete one bcp that's <clears throat> what i initially proposed i think they're just going in and manually saying like yeah arcanes are cheap let's delete a bunch like I don't think they have any method to this whatsoever. Um, maybe there should be, but maybe like it's working right now, as we can see from a bunch of prices that have gone up. The Tebow was 900 mil in December, and now it's 1.1 bill again. Like it's, it's everything's slowly climbing. Isn't uh, that so. exciting though, bro? Like I yeah. swear, when I was watching all the items drop from last year from COVID, everyone's playing too much and dumping their items. I'm like, dude, yeah. this game's headed to shit. But yeah. now we finally see they're getting into the middle of the ecosystem and trying to, you know, they're doing things, bro. It makes me genuinely excited. I wish I could wake up as a JMod every day and get paid to try to fix the economy, bro. Because yes. I'm just thinking about this shit for fun. Yeah. But I'm telling you, if I had, like, some real power to do some shit and, like, get some polls up, I'd be mm. genuinely excited to get the RuneScape economy as fresh as possible, man. I love talking about this shit, bro. The best way, okay, the best way to fix the economy in the game is next time everybody logs in, you're an Iron Log Man. Out? Oh. No. <laughs>
it just applies Iron Man to every single player in the game. You have no choice. If you don't like it, quit. Otherwise, yeah, no GE, no trading, nothing. Economy yeah. is perfect. No, there's kidding. no economy. <laughs> yeah. Easy. But, no economy. Shall we uh, brainstorm some some economy fixing <clears throat> ideas, dude? Of course, I'll go first because it's kind of like you got to rack yep. your brain here. Well, um, dude, before before we do yeah. that, I just posted a picture in the Discord. I don't know if you've yeah. taken a look at it, but uh, too funny. I, I'm I'm sure you guys have seen this, right? Uh, oh yeah. Guys, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. If if you can pull that up somehow on stream, just so the people watching can see. Like, do any of you know or have an explanation for exactly how this happens? So that one, that I don't think that was the GE tax. I think, unless unless they said it was, I think that was genuinely the best offer for Inquisitor's Mace at the time that this guy sold it was three hundred ninety points. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So So there's people who are trying to like snipe things all the time. Like I've had uh, my friend's account. I went on his account one time, probably selling him a fire cape. You know. Went on his account <laughs> and I put an offer in the GE to buy an Ellie Spirit Shield for like 10k flat. And it's been he's never canceled that offer. It has been there for like seven years. It's too like he's just like, I know one day that'll be the best offer. So there's like stuff like that. Like you gotta he's think smart. at one point, nobody in the game is buying an Ellie Spirit Shield. There's no offer in there to buy one. If you put an offer in for 200 mil and someone's trying to sell theirs and they mistype and they forget to put the M on the end, that's what this guy did. He put 390M and yeah, then hit enter, yeah. but he missed the M or he put like B or N or like just a random letter and just, just hit strong. enter. Yeah, exactly. So you would get it. Like that's how the GE works. Um, yep. I don't know what they're doing with the tax. Like are they going in and buying the best offer and deleting it? Like I'm not sure. Well, they took three three GP off of it. So. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, nice. yeah. Sorry, the item sync, not the tax. But yeah, like they're they're probably going in and buying just like you know putting in a mid offer, and when it sells, they delete it. I don't know. I don't know how it works. They you won't know, tell us. I think I think I know what what Jack. I, I think Mod Ash is telling us quite a lot actually. So like you know how they, they you know every time you sell an item, you, the tax money, right? So yeah. it probably goes into that allowance for that particular item. Mm-hmm. And then with how much money they have, they get to decide whether they max out and buy everything, use up all the coins, or they're like, you know what, let's just go with ten, whatever's left over, we save it for for that thing, yeah, and and then just arbitrarily leave it for the moment, because like it'll still follow the rule of, you know, uh, one in fifty will get the leak. Because in the long run, it would be one in fifty. It's just they get to decide when that long run happens ultimately, yeah. right? I think that's kind of like the deal. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense, you know, because like, because like, it wouldn't make sense to pull all the all the GE tax money and then just use all of it for one item versus like having, you know, because like it's not like they're burning every item, right? They have like specific items that they're monitoring, so they probably mm-hmm. have allowances for every one of them. I, yeah. I think that's what they mean because that, and then there's there's a quota, right? Yeah. So they probably set something so that they don't use it all up in a given moment and there's there's no need to burn items like third age like it's so rare no. right? exactly like, yeah yeah it's so yeah. rare like you, they they've got their quota and i think they're just targeting items like i think they're still playing catch up like there is oh, yeah. probably more mm-hmm. arcanes in the game like arcane um scrolls were they called augury whatever yeah like, like probably, okay. there's probably more of those in the game than people who have the prayer level to use it right so that's why they're basically alk value and i think it's they're also, still playing catch up they're just like you know what let's yeah. just buy as many as we can and delete them get the economy of those back to a good spot and then we'll monitor and see like do we delete one of 100 do we delete one of 20 like stuff like that i think that's what yeah they're doing. honestly though the issue with the prayer scrolls is just the fact that they made it too common yeah from from the actual like you know content itself so i don't they shouldn't have they straight up shouldn't have come from raids that's the problem yeah and it, it, it should not have been this common like whatever it yeah. would come from or you know i just from the wilderness right it made it too common that's the problem yeah. I, but before when it wasn't common when it was like second tier rarity like dragon claws it used to be like 400 mil yeah and the moment they made it common within like a week it like went down 100 mil like straight up mm-hmm. and then it just kept Going down ever since. I miss I miss the good old days of doing raids on my main and deck scrolls were like a hundred mil, eighty mil, ninety yeah. mil. Like you're just pulling one a day and you're splitting it with your three man team. Like you're just getting so rich off of those. And now yeah. it's like you get a dex and you're like, nah, it's free for all. Like it's not Let's even worth keep splitting, it, bro. I don't even yeah. want that split. It's too much effort to log in for this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> well, dude, the reason I the reason I brought up the uh, Inquisitor Mace is because there is a theory uh, that's floating around out there that apparently that was purchased by the Grand Exchange Burn yeah. mechanic, right? Yeah. So there are people, and specifically, mm. I, I think it was an Oak Dice video that I watched. Um, and the reason I bring, yeah, but the reason I bring it up is because uh, there have been people that have been able to replicate it. I don't know if that is the case. Like, I don't know, dude. There's a part of me that's like, it is a highly expensive item, but would there really be zero trades in the whole of the Grand Exchange for it? I don't know. Because basically, the theory for anybody else who's wondering out there, mm. like, let's say, for example, that every 50 Inquisitor Maces that are sold, one of them is burned, e.g., the Grand Exchange just buys it. I don't think they burn. The um, I don't think the mace is on the list, though, of, of burnt items. That's the. Is it not? I, I feel I'm like gonna, it's, I'm gonna find yeah, the list. I'm I'll sure look up the not, list right now. Not. Yeah, yeah. They, let's they do posted it. the list when they like. The, uh, the list is pretty common stuff, like yeah. Debo's and. Well, I wonder, like, if it's paint. a good idea to buy items to merch off that list. You know, like not financial advice. Right, <laughs> but wouldn't it be perfect to buy an item they're trying to burn to get the the GP value up? I wonder. I don't. So know. the reason why I think big. that that the whole like burn thing isn't true is because even before it existed, the, this 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 event happened. Right, there's been times in the past before this whole stuff existed where people have done that, have been able to do that. You know, have been able to buy something very expensive for like a hundred k. So because every, at the time, uh, someone, sorry. you know, it was the highest uh, bidding. So every 100 items, one gets burned? Is that where, or is it every 50? 50. Every 50. So if you, if you buy an item off this chart, you can technically not only buy it and store it, but also you're burning it if you're buying a shit ton of it too, right? So when I bought three, like 200 bulwarks, I guess I burned like four of them accidentally. I didn't even realize that. So it's, I'm not, not financial advice. But, uh, uh, dude, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, looking at some of these items, bro, and I, I don't know, man. I mean, the <laughs> downside, like the downside is because these items are already being put on the list, you're gonna be buying into an item where there's already like an abundance of them. So, like, that is something to consider, right? It's like, sure, they are getting burnt out mm -hmm. of the games every like a hundred sold or whatever, but there's a lot of them in the game. But you know, no, you're right. That's what I'm saying. I no financial advice. advice. If it goes to no. zero. Don't blame us. Just playing Iron Man. But I, I may I start buying <laughs> some occult necklaces or something, <laughs> just because I don't know, bro. It it seems like Jagex oh. is like bumping your own bank in a way, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. dude, the occult necklace is actually such a good fucking item, and the fact that you can buy it for like two hundred k or whatever it is, four hundred. Four hundred k, bro. Back in my days, you used to have to get something called an arcane steam necklace from Dungeoneering, and yep. it was like I think it was like seventy thousand points or something, or I can't remember how much it was. It, it was, was effort, like man. It was a few tens of thousands, and bro, you used to lose it every time you died when you hybrided. Yep. I, I literally had to get them all the time. A cool necklace is exactly the same. Buy it for four hundred k. Like we don't, people don't even know how spoiled we are nowadays. Yeah, we really are. I There's was a big problem with it. Like, so looking at it, like the GE tax and item sync came December 9th. And uh, at that point, uh, they were, they, they bottomed out in January at 300 K and they're now 500 K. So like, that's a huge percent increase in the past six months. That's quite a bit, but I might um, see it get back to a mill. I feel like maybe so, oh, it's still I think that there's just a fundamental issue with the arcane, uh, the arcane, the occult necklace and a, an idea that I proposed uh, already was take the occult necklace, it's 10% magic increase, drop it to five, and then you have space now to add something back that's at 10. And I hate that. I don't like it. <laughs> but you kind of have to when you've messed up with this occult necklace that's 300k and it's that good. Like, I, I feel like that should be the kind of the way that they're they're taking the game where there's like, there's a huge gap. It, with With mage necklaces, you've either got zero percent magic damage or ten percent there's no in between like there should be yeah. like zero two point five five percent and ten percent like you know something like that um yeah no i i agree mostly but at the same time you know like obviously th this game isn't necessarily a game that is completely structured and everything has a pattern to it yeah. you know uh, I, I i agree that they they did they did overdo it in the beginning. You know, they didn't realize like adding something right off the bat at the early stage of this game, a 10% bonus is like way too insane because nowadays 
what you're bringing out is like two percent or you know five percent you know from rates three i don't i I guess it's it's probably a little too late now for them to just like you know just degrade it it like that yeah, it just, feels like it's too late, doesn't it? But they've yeah. just done the equipment rebalance. They nerfed the blowpipe after yeah. how many years of that being so Yeah, good? well, and I, like, I think the blowpipe was just straight up busted. We've accepted. Know? But yeah. this is pretty pretty busted, too. Like, what I what I was saying is... The, I agree that's OP, but not like um, blowpipe level, though. Yeah. Eternal boots from Serb are useless, like, in every scenario. They're, like, oh. never used. Give them 2.5% magic. Reduce the occult <laughs> to 5 and then you've got space to add another majoring at three cape, which they discussed already on their. They they were saying that they that was going to come from those new uh, Tazar thing in the That's dungeon so of Brimhaven or whatever. Oh, uh, Brimhaven, like no. Was it? Yeah, I know it's weird. Eh? Like it, I feel like with the equipment I'm rebalance, that should have been on the list of them to like somehow figure out a way of fixing it or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, you, you yo, know, honestly. So I, was, I gotta yeah. say, their equipment rebalance, bro, I woke up one day and I saw skill specs posted an image, dude, and it, it had the rebalance, and it had the twisted bow, and right below it was a bulwark, and it said, yeah. 80 defense, no longer usable in the wild. And I saw that shit, and I got <laughs> so happy, bro. <laughs> And I went to check, and it was photoshopped. Yeah. And I'm just saying, it feels like nowadays, Everything I get excited for is photoshopped, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to throw that in there, bro. Skill specs, you did me extremely the dirty, theme, bro. The, the theme of, of our lives. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like um, where the bulwark is now is a, a heck of a lot better. Like, it's only good against melee. It's still um, the game, dude. <laughs> it's still the game, but... It's very strong it, in the wilderness, I will say. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's a an issue when they pull like raids and they're saying here are the rewards from it there was 15 purple chest items on that and they were it's now down to 12 and now Still they're doing the i think they're making a mistake with raids 3 same thing they've got what is it nine or eight items coming from it and then you've got no room for another boss in the next year to have a reward from it like what i think raids 3 it should have everything except for the Missouri armor because then you've still got the best staff. You've got the like, you know, basically a deck scroll in that thread that you add for the fourth rune slot in your rune pouch. Like you've got the new dagger, which is like a cool item, which is kind of equivalent to like a rapier or a sang from Tob. Like you've got all that stuff, but also having the best in slot range gear is that too much? I don't know. Raids three, maybe it's like they want it to well, have. It's that been like four years, I guess. But... But, yeah. I know it's so tough, like because like with with chambers, twelve items, that's too much. We can yeah, that see that the much. sweet spot that. is like six, maybe five. Same thing with nightmare. That what do they got? Six items from nightmare or something. Next, same thing. They've got all those items. Oh, Nightmare's actually got like eight or something. <laughs> yeah, like add, just have it so that there's more bosses with like crazy mm. new mechanics, different mechanics, but less rewards from each of the bosses like i don't know that's what i like and i'm totally cool if you guys completely disagree with that but i think i, I, three, I like mostly agree i mostly agree. raids three you've got you know a lot of the cool rewards you just got the big ticket item you've got the item like the thread that everybody wants and we'll eventually get why do we also need best of slot range here like that could be an entire new boss like nex that it comes from but now they're just lumping it all together i don't know i'm, I'm sorry man i'm gonna have to disagree completely bro like not sure. even <laughs> close dude my dream for raids three is that you got a team of five you yep. all need a bulwark and then that's it bro and you just fucking ram right through there's only one prize and that is a reskin of the bulwark bulwark g <laughs> Yes. Oh, Sorry, man. Bulwark T. Oh, what, what, about, actually, what about Bulwark T, man? I think the T would. That is Raids Four, sir. Don't get ahead of yourself here. We're <laughs> Sorry, I don't know shit about Raids Three, man. I'm sure it's a great idea. I've, um, I've no yeah, idea. like, like the reason why I don't fully agree is mainly because when they do raids, it's usually like three to four years apart. Yeah. So, so, so it's one of those things where raids, in a way, it's already kind of like multiple bosses, content-wise, yep. I guess. So. And, and because they take so long to, I, I don't want to say so long as so long in a way that means that it's bad. You know what I mean? Sometimes quality is is better than quantity, right? A lot of times, because um, like I also hear the other side of the fence where people are like, I hate when they add like this one boss and then they drops like ten items, whatever, as five items, and then you got to just grind that one boss for two thousand hours, or like four hundred yeah. hours. So I, I hear I, I hear it equally as much. Concern as the way you you put it out to be, right? Oh, I got a beginner clue. 
So oh nice. I, yeah, nice. I would I would say like it's it, it's not terrible that Raid Three has this many items as long yeah. as it's better than Raid One. Like Raid One had too many items. I yeah, Raid like was Raid One was way too many. I think Tob is in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I think um, Tob was seven. Pretty nice. Yeah, seven. I just yeah. think a quick mm. a quick fix to to Raid Three. So they've got the the staff. I think they could have done the staff. And the two McKin of Hecka, whatever. Like I don't even know why they call that. They have the staff and the wand. They could have done both, in my opinion. Yeah, they, they're basically the picking wand. One, like the wand is not as rare. Like the wand is like a it's like a, a niche item that had some very specific weird uses. Mm. I think it would be cool to have the wand, the staff. Um, they've got the the new shield. Mm. They've got the ring that doubles how quickly you restore your spec. They've got the fang that's new best in slot at like corp. It replaces the spear. It's useful in some really weird places. And then they've got three more rewards with the different jewels for the Karis upgrade. Yep. A lot of rewards. Plus, they've got three pieces of best in slot range gear coming from it, too. And I I'm, honestly I'm didn't so think they needed a shield. I didn't think so they really No, they, they didn't really, yeah. but I'm super yeah. stoked for Raids 3. Um, but for me, I'm just like excited for the content more than the rewards. And it's like that with everything. Like, I'm excited to do next. I'm not like excited to do next because it drops these cool things. It's more like, that's like that's like the second on the mm. priority list. Like I want Raids 3 to be fun. Getting a Discord call with the boys. Everyone's dying. You're laughing at them. You're taking screenshots and posting it to your wall of shame of them on the ground, oh. die, dead, like stuff like that. That's what I would like excited for. But now it's uh, there's just like a ton of rewards. Like now, yeah, you'll have to spend a few thousand hours there to get it. Yeah, it's probably know. gonna be at least a thousand hours. If you, Are, you is there gonna be a, a graceful recolor at all or they should they should add a farm patch in the uh, in the rewards room. <laughs> it should be like the second room. If you make it that far, you do an extra farm in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, wh why is it you think they're adding so many different rewards? Like, do you, do you think it has something to do with the fact that they know there's going to be a big gap between raids for raids free and raids no. four, and maybe it just gives a reason for people to continue repeating that content over and over again? Or do you guys have like a different theory on that? Raids 4, like right now, what could the rewards be from that? We've got the Tebow for range, we've got the Scythe for melee, we've got the Staff for mage, we've got Ancestral for mage, we've got, uh, you know, Torva for melee, we've got Missouri for range. Like, everything is covered at this point. What are you going to do for Raids right. 4? Like, an yeah. even better Tebow, an even better Scythe? Like, this is, like, this is it. You've got three combat styles, you've got three raids. Each raid is dedicated to each of the combat styles. I don't know where they go from here, they're, so maybe, they're, they're yeah, they have something. no plans. They don't have uh, boots that make you move two times fast, so... That's true, yeah. <laughs> Just saying, so, bro, like... Add that to, like, the so, Archaeus spellbook so that they revive yeah. that a little bit. Yeah, it really comes down to creativity, is what I would say. Yeah. It's, it's about, like, being able to create new niches that otherwise either didn't exist or just was not really you know that's what about, i would right? like to see dude i'm tired yeah. of like these overpowered weapons i want something fun bro what if you had like a staff that you could like randomly make fires on the floor for no reason but it also gave you like a, something usable so you just be chilling your friend go Poof, look at that yeah. that'd be sick <laughs> right i mean like just something fun the game you're, needs you're... more things like that where it's just something fun. And I've got tons of ideas and I want to talk about them on the podcast so we can get to those where it's just mini games for fun. And it's like yeah, this crazy so... concept. Mm -hmm. Who would have ever thought the game's for fun, not for the rewards? But yeah. What, Sorry, yeah, go for it, Rachel. I cut you off. A staff that makes you a tree, but only in Barack. I mean, fuck, exactly. dude. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. Don't even pull that. Just put it in. Like, I. I... I was just gonna say, um, you're right, like, the format we have right now for raids are, like, there are these big things, at the end of the raid, you get one of the, the rewards, if you're lucky enough, you could get one of the big ticket items, and you're right, we have a ranged one, we have the scythe, we're gonna have the staff from this, but, like, maybe they could introduce, like, raids that are done fundamentally different, so something that I've always liked the idea of, is like imagine if they were to create a raid where it's like i don't know say there's like five six bosses or whatever maybe a bigger boss at the end but like the demi bosses also drop stuff now it's not it's not gonna be you know the twisted bow or something to that level of course but it could be like a little something something that could be significant maybe like you get a, a set piece or something like that like not such a grand scale but you're you're totally right it's like you're right mm. we do have the free melee 
genres covered or styles. Combat but styles, like, yeah. it, I, I guess it comes into like, is that it? Like, are we just done with updating the game for raids? Mm. Or is it like, do we then, you know, go into the territory of like power creep and like, because obviously if another raid comes out and it's like, we're going to best the Twisted Bow, it's like, okay, well, the Twisted Bow is already pretty goddamn powerful. Where is this going to fit in? Yeah. I don't know. Like, like, that's what I'm trying to get at is there's too many rewards from one piece of content where you could put out more bosses, you know, let's say every six months, a new big boss. You've got next six months ago, you've got raids three. Six months from now, you've got another boss that just drops the three Missouri armor pieces for range. And then six months later, you're adding it where it's got this new shield for mage that you could, instead of Rage 3, it comes from that. Like, that's what I would like, personally, because I'm all for the longevity of the game. As you saw with my GE tax item sync, like, I want it to survive. Um, so, like, I think ideas like that, like, people burnt out. There's been nothing in the game. It went from Nightmare, two years later, and then next. That was, like, the gap. And no one liked Nightmare, so there was nothing new. It was just, okay, we're doing top, we're doing chambers. There's nothing like else Nightmare. to do in the game. Yeah, Nightmare's I, great, isn't it? I yeah. could handle Especially it. Especially with a bulwark. You just you go oh, and you just, yeah. I heard that's best in slot over there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I, I feel mean, like that's, I tolerate that's the way it. they go. You know, I tolerate it. <laughs> I'm a Fasani, person. Fasani Nightmare is fun, in my opinion. Like, that's like, yeah. Yeah. I love the way that that's designed. Yo, where yeah. it's, don't make a mistake, and you will not use food. Make a mistake and you're dead. Like I like that there's a boss like that. I was kind of yeah. hoping Nex would be similar, but Nex is no matter if you make a mistake or not, it's just chipping away at your supplies. Like not even slowly, it's pretty quickly at Nex. Like it's it's we've got the two the two differences there. I was hoping it'd be more like Fosani, but I think it makes sense how Nex yeah, is. Yeah, dude, I I didn't even get to grind Fosani properly, you know. <laughs> yeah, I just soloed like the normal nightmare at like twenty minutes each. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I don't, I don't even know how you did that, man. I mean, yeah. I've, I've done hard mode for Sony a fair bit. I think I've got like close to four hundred KC. And you're right. Like when, when hard mode for Sony came out, it was like the definition of, um, you know, like you said, make a mistake, you get punished. Whereas if you do things flawlessly, which takes a lot of skill to do so, not make any mistakes, you're absolutely fine. Like, as yeah. long as you get your prayer right or whatever it is, stand in the right place, you take zero damage. Yeah. And um, soloing chambers is the same when you think of it. If you go in on a no prep raid with two brews, two restores, you make no mistakes. That's enough, right? Like, but if you make mistakes, you start. You know, you're not new to. You're new to it. You're like making mistakes. You're gonna run out. You're gonna get teleported across the room for seventy five damage. Like, you're just gonna get flame walled. You're gonna like. I love that. Like that content and how it's made, but they've just put necks out, and it's like doesn't matter how smart or how skilled you are. You can go in with a Tebow and just click on the boss, chug your bruise, and you'll get through the kill and have a chance at the best items in the game. Like, I don't know, it's kind of yeah. kind of sucks. Well, I mean, that's it's an interesting thing, bro, but like that's the thing, right? So Jagex have said that they're absolutely fine with taking old content, specifically like, you know, well, some RuneScape free. And they can easily deliver that to us because the work behind that has already been done. I guess they just have to convert it down into like, you know, to get it over onto the old school RuneScape servers. But like there is an inherent issue with that is the the brains that made that old content are like we're we're they talking were smooth. like they were so smooth, <laughs> those brains. <up. laughs> But you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, you're talking about like that was the full like pre EOC. It was so designed like, for 13 year old people. Like that's yes. who played the game back then. They were 13. We're now 26, 28. Like we are able to do all these crazy like prayer switching and flicking and stuff. And I don't want it to be like you can only do this boss if you're like an absolute mega mind genius. <laughs> I think it's it's fine that you can like go in and uh, and do like you know less or like maybe you get one Fosani kill per trip and it's 12 minutes, but. If you're really good, you can get six because you're not using any supplies and you can get eight minute kills. Like, that's what I like. I think that's where they should go well, with it. You were saying that you wanted them to do more fun, random, crazy stuff. Why yeah. not have a boss that's so disgustingly hard you break your computer every time you play it, right? Yeah. I always had the idea of building hype, bro. I even bounced this on the J mods last time we had them on. It's called a world destroying or um, an account destroying boss, dude. Okay. You go in and you have to kill it. There's no logging out. There's no disconnecting. If you die, bye bye account. All right. Iron Man, hardcore, whatever, gone. Okay. This would make waves through the gaming community. 
I'm just saying it would be so. Wouldn't you watch any game yeah. ever if someone had the chance to lose like twenty thousand hours? I think right. yeah, like that and would also be really cool. Game would be insane. That's kind of like hardcore when you are like I'm not continuing to play when like hardcore is really really. You know good they had that in R three. They actually had that in R three. And it, Where it just ends. Boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, but people complain too much, so they just made it so that you you keep your account. Ah, oh, dude. That's yeah, that's weird. what hardcore uh, <laughs> I think, Iron Man was. The first, I think to like, revive one. revive the wilderness in one update, they make it so you can attach a uh, what are they called a zenite bolt tip to a dragon bolt, and if it procs on the person you're attacking, deletes their account, just gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think they can do a mode, yeah, yeah. no, genuinely where where it is hardcore, but if you die, you actually the the account's like you know sound hard, like straight yeah. up. Yeah, yeah they I could think that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like mean that would be just... that would be really cool actually. I think um, yeah. like Diablo Free do that. I believe you make it's just called hardcore over there. But if you die, you just get logged out. Done. Yeah. Oh. I think that would be. I think you know it'd be pretty interesting to play the game like that. Dude, like it would be mode. dead men on tournaments in the finals. When you just, you end up in that Falador jail, and then one tick later, it's like you you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, that dude, would just be fighting cool. this boss, dude, and it's like it's got random phases that they update every two weeks, so you can't just automatically know. And if you die, your screen just goes black. It says, thanks for the 11 bucks. And then you just wake up in a cage with like everybody else who's died. And you just, yeah. there's nothing else, bro. You just kind of walk around. It's, tw it's 12.50 now, just so you know, 12.49. Oh, my so. bad, dude. Yeah. yeah. Cause we were thinking about like just fun things and like, I'm not even a PVMer, but shoot, I, I yeah. might, I might have to do a series if there was a, you know, end game boss that destroyed accounts, dude. Or so I, I mean, think yeah, I think that, that like could work mode. really well. That. that could work really well as a league. I don't I don't know if anyone would play it in the main game. Like just content creators or like it's not it's, um I, but, like the idea I have. It's not like something you just do. It's like yeah. it's like if someone's streaming it, they're rocking ten k viewers, dude. Like if yeah. someone's doing this thing, you're watching, right? Um, that's that the kind of cool. content. It's not like, oh, dude, let's just go take a stroll down and lose our account. No, like you, you're like fucking Adderall up, dude. You know, just G fuel, just you know, sweat and blood, right? I mean, you got the J mods watching your ass. So you got the Twitch mods in your chat, just like, dude, this is crazy, bro. Yeah. But there's nothing like that in RuneScape anymore that's true. or at that's all, true. dude. It's just okay. We'll go do some corp or something, dude. dude. I mean, I think that like I'm gonna say this. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, bro, but it's never Don't happened. Don't burst it. It's not, I know, it's not. It's not. Right. Listen, so way back in the day, you guys remember the item called uh, Disc of Returning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you could use that. You could buy one to get back from, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like the Abyss. And if you were a bot, you got teleported there and you couldn't get out. Now, you could go there as a legitimate player and you could like look at the bots almost like like a, an amusement thing. I mean, they could potentially do. They could potentially make like this boss that you're describing, but you will be put against it, and to defeat it is so simple. You just have to like click in like a random assortment where it tells you to, right? But then if you're a bot, your account's just gonna get fucking destroyed, and maybe there's a way to like watch these bots getting destroyed by the monster. The, the ultimate <laughs> random event. Like you're just sitting at top bank, and you see the guy get this random. And they have the choice to like dismiss it or take it, and it's like, yo, take it, man! I, you'll beat the boss, I swear. And then they die. Like, yeah, it'd be too fun. Oh what what if it didn't delete your account, but it like there was a wheel of doom, bro? And when you died, it just fucking rotated through ten horrific options, right? One option would be like mine, ten thousand coal, or like pick ten thousand flax, deed, or just like pay triple membership for the next year, or just some uh, like just horrific re shit. Bro. Yeah, reset their their runecrafting XP or like. <laughs> Alk your TiVo, or like, yeah, like oh, it's like what streamers streamers do when you when we do the uh, you know birthday stream. It's like yeah, one through twenty eight Alk roulette. Like it just does that for you. You have no choice. It just Alks a random item out of your gear. Yeah, time. yeah, that'd be a horrific April Fool's Day. Thing. <laughs> yeah, like, holy shit. but you were mentioning just like fun mini games. Yeah, I'm just I, all these ideas came into my brain. Like, what if it wasn't raids? It was random raids, right? You had no idea how to prep it. Three to four Love man it. clan, and it would just be like six random fucking rooms. You would no idea. It could be from TOB. It could be 
Fuck, you you could face another team. Fuck it, dude. They'll just throw you against that team, dude. They're like mm. your third room in. You got to death match these people, bro. Right? You're not supposed to win this. Right? This, the, the chances that you get to the seventh room is disgustingly low. But yeah. it's a good prize. And there's no way to prep for it. You just got to you just gotta be open to whatever. Right? I yeah. don't know, man. Because so, to me, PVM just seems so rinse and repeat. There's no spice. I want a little sure. spice, you know? For sure. You've, not, I, you've so, barely touched the surface, though, man. Like, I touched it. I said, I'm good. You know? It's well, there, there, dude, there's a lot of really good PV, PVM content out there. I, I think the main concern is if you touch PVM, you're not going to go back to PvP. Like, mm. legit. You're going to be like, why am I wasting my time on something that is not being updated when I could just go and play something that is? Dude, I already have you enough know? bulwarks. Why the fuck yep. would I PVM, bro? All right? There's <laughs> nothing to do. It's so boring. Except when Rice does it, he makes it look great. But I'm not yeah. Rice. So. Yo, anyways, yo, Flumple's got some ideas, right? You said, yeah, hit it up. What you gonna? What, so you, got, what you got? For we've us? got uh, one idea, which is like this is a very basic idea that can you guys can go crazy with it. But a boss that you can't beat, as you said. But it's more like if you've ever played COD Zombies, Call of Duty, like the Zombies games, they, it doesn't end. It does not end. We have to have that in RuneScape. Where oh, I was saying true. Barrows, like imagine Barrows Brothers. You start and you, it gives you one brother. You kill it, and the next round is two, and then it's three, four, five, six, and it keeps going. Now you've got two Darox, there and one of everything you want, and then you've got two air. Like that's like such a basic. Like the the mechanics of it would be so easy. You know, you're just ice barrage yeah, right away, yeah. and trying to survive. But imagine it was like unique monsters that are brand new. Like you said, you've like we don't know what monsters coming next. It's got random mechanics. Let's see how many waves I can. Yeah, make just it. for the high score. Yo, honestly, exactly. I feel like. That would be such good content for people to watch because the potential is limitless. Yes. You know? So Oh, you yeah. could say like, bro, like tune into stream right now. Wooks is on wave 116. That's a new world record. There's like a leaderboard yeah. that shows yeah. like yeah. you know, you get to wave hundred, you get a cape that just shows that you made it to hundred. Yeah, you know? it's it just like yeah. you know, five years from now, the the record's still being broken. Currently, all we have for that is Inferno speed runs. People are like, no, look, I shaved yeah. two seconds off the PV. Like, look at this. No, it'd be so cool to be like, man, yeah, wave two seventeen is like the world. I record. agree, no I agree. Make that happen, guys. Make that yeah. happen. Yeah, hundred percent. Clip that happen. and send it to uh, at Jagex. Uh, I don't know. You Ash. don't even need rewards from this either. That's what I'm saying. Just a mini game for fun, just so you can be like exclamation point PV hit enter and it shows. To, I know like, you're just like. Damn, two hundred! Yeah, like, like, this guy made it to two hundred. Yeah, yeah. That would be like imagine if it after a certain wave, it just starts randomly generating NPCs too. Yeah. Also, you got like a mod ash with dragon longs for you. Like, what the fuck do I even do that? Just hundred, <laughs> yes. you know. Uh, so my just, idea with this was easy. like, could we do it where every single NPC in the game? is a, like a different wave but it's random so like you know you could be on wave like 117 and all it added was a duck <laughs> and you kill the duck and then the next wave it adds jad you got now you, okay wave 118 has jad on it and it's like this you know they could script it so it's the same every time but i think it'd be way more fun if it was just every single time you go in it just spawns another npc so now you're fighting like something different every wave i don't know i don't know how it could work that's what i'm saying it's such a base idea well like, they could do different modes right yeah they could do yeah. like standard mode where like it kind of falls of every strict pattern and then they yeah. can do like random boss spawn mode where they just stack yeah, exactly. up i guess well what if Dude, it wasn't awesome. even a mode bro what if it was like every other week varak or some town was attacked kind of like how they did it on New World, and you could, like, sign up to defend this town. I'm another but it was just constant waves. And then you'd have, like, the top-tier clans and PVM clans doing, like, crazy strats. It's like, oh, shit, I got cleared. It's like, dude, there's still someone in Varrock. Three hours yeah. later, you can't bank or anything. These people are just going fucking buck wild, bro. Right? So, like, I'm, why not have events mm. in RuneScape? Instead of just mini games, like, actual events. Other games have Well, it. Yeah, I mean, for PvP, I, I was just randomly thinking. They could do something where... You kind of, you kind of like in the overworld. You can just there's like a message, like you know, like some something happening, and then like you, you sign up for it, and then everybody that gets uh, signed up for it, they get they get sent to the lobby to start, and then all automatically you're you're formed two teams, right? And then there's like an objective, I guess, to do something, mm -hmm. and then you get some fun cosmetics for it or whatever. Yeah. Some, some fun oh prizes. man, we're at the point in RuneScape cool. where just cosmetics, like just add a cosmetic for, as a reward mm -hmm. for something. Have the mini game just fun. Reward is a cosmetic. Um, I, I, when you were saying like defending a kingdom, learning. one of my ideas was yeah. like, we've got a skill in RuneScape. People are saying, add a new skill, add a new skill. 
I'm I'm no update the existing skills construction. You literally can only do that in your house unless you're just like building a one off like spot to put a couple of clue scroll lines. I think construction, you can have your player owned house and then a player owned kingdom where it's 10 times bigger than your house. You've got your tiles, which are the eight by eight like hot spots. So you could be like, all right, on this tile, I want to build like a, a little settler's home. And each tile inside that hotspot is customizable. You could be like, yeah, put a piece of wall here, put a piece of wall here. Like that could be, it's a massive update. Like that's huge. But then you could build up this kingdom. Make, like you literally could spend like Minecraft building a kingdom for like ages, days, weeks. And then you could say, okay, I'm ready. And then it gets attacked by random mobs and you've got to defend it. Otherwise they just start destroying stuff. You got to pay for more planks and supplies to rebuild it up. I don't know if that's a mini game. Is that like a, a raid where you could do it with teammates? But I think that would be like super cool, like way of updating construction. It's like PVM. You could do it where it's like, okay, I've built up my castle and now other players can attack me and attack the castle like PKing style. Or they're just like just trying to overrun this castle. You, anyways, I think it'd yeah, be really yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, to either expand on that or or add to the idea yeah. of something similar of like I guess defending a kingdom or something. You know, it's like you know how like every world doesn't really have enough people to really like start something big. But what mm -hmm. if they do like a server wide queue, right? Like I don't mm -hmm. know, every hour it like shows up, and then you can apply to it, and then you get sent to like you know this big area but it's server wide right keep in mind so that means everybody from every single world has the ability to queue into it mm -hmm. so so in theory there should be plenty of people like hundreds of people that could yeah. literally be in one air map and yeah. you know you can literally just co uh, compete for like control over i don't know the, like Bro. you said defending a kingdom or something right wouldn't that it be long. much more Dude. interesting right because it, it would work because you have enough people playing on a given day on a given hour to just queue in like that Right. As long as it's not mobilizing armies, I'm happy. And I'm that in. was like, like they had, good. they were like barely had the right idea with mobilizing armies. Yeah. But no, then they just like, trash. they missed big time. Like that, like this doesn't even like imagine you're just, you're plopped into an LMS map and it's just empty and you build up your LMS map and then 10 people, 10 PKers come in and start attacking you. And you're just like, okay, I built this secret <laughs> passage to go from point A to point B, and then I've got a trebuchet that's gonna shoot at them, and I've got like a wall that I can light on fire to kill them, and like, if they step in the fire, they start taking 10 damage over and over and over again, like, just like stuff like that. I feel like it's such a cool like, mini yeah. game raid, PKing yeah. raid, like, I don't know how you even explain it. just it. it's just more server-wide kind of competitive. Yeah. It uh, seems like we're talking effect. about yeah. like gamifying towns, dude, in a way, yeah. right? To where you're not just chilling and bank standing in Varrock, but things are, are happening in the town that you can influence. And I feel like there's a lot of clans That'd be that so don't fun, have yeah. anything to do. And if we just gave them like, oh, dude, this clan, they, they did the most waves in Varrock, dude, so they get like this statue or some shit. And then <laughs> another clan come down, take their statue. And this whole time, they're absolutely burning a shit ton of supplies because yes. they need to buy planks, seeds, or whatever. And they're not getting anything for this but incredible amounts of clout. And you already know, these people love clout, dude. Have you seen their Twitters? They will yes. roast the shit out of JMods for no reason to get like five likes. I mean, <laughs> we're talking, they will stay up two weeks in a row just to mention, get their main name mentioned on like a Q and A, right? They yep. will do whatever it takes. So we could actually put clans into the, in the limelight again, but in a healthier way yep. to where it's like, Oh, did you hear fucking rots taking over Catherby, dude? They, they wasted like 80 mil on fucking oak planks. <laughs> they, they don't stop, bro. They're about to defend that shit Tuesday. Yeah. They could do, yeah. They, they can do like actual, like other MMOs where, um, you know, like there's certain clans have control over different areas. And stuff like that for that but i was thinking what i was talking about was more so like like something where everybody feels like they're on a more even playing field where they can compete in right like here's the problem with a lot of these pvp mini games and wilderness is that like when you do them as a person that's just kind of like finding P pvp to be such a you know campy ass activity you always just feel like you, you know if it's a 1v1 you always feel like you're completely outmatched if you're in the wilderness you always feel like these group of people are just completely just gonna dig on you always right you're just kind of expecting that like like i think i think a lot of players do like competitive or just being able to like fight people but they but but it, it, they want it to be in a way where it just feels like i could be fighting someone of my equal level at any at any given time right so i feel like something where 
it's like a server wide thing where hundreds of people can literally queue in and participate and there's like and there's like no bias on how the grouping goes so like even if a clan joins in they all get separated and there's like no way for them to really get together right because then it'll just be hundreds of people and there's like no way to coordinate those things so like so like imagine just a, a, an activity that you can do you can queue up for it's just 100 plus people on each side in like a you know like a moderate size area they can all coalesce and fight each other for some particular reason i don't know to, to like win to like take over their side or something right you get what i'm saying because then everybody can just yolo fight each other they don't nothing they don't like there's or, there's no order it's all chaos and i think that's what a lot of people would love to be able to do it's maybe just like go back to the days where whoever you saw you didn't really think he was good or not it just didn't matter you just wanted to fight him just because right there was no like oh he's he's too good all right you know what i mean it's just like you go in and you just do it, right? And then you never know who's going to hit you. Like, it could be multiple people. It could be random noobs, right? It could be a really good player. It doesn't matter. Like, you're, you're just always going to have completely unexpected results every time, right? You know what I'm saying? The chaos. I think the big element is the chaos. We don't have that. Everything seems so orderly now with yeah. PvP, right? Honestly, so, I would love some chaos in this game, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we need something like that. And we have enough players on a daily basis to, to form something like that, you know? Right, hundreds of players just all go in for one activity uh, once an hour or something. Right? Yeah, for like thirty that'd be minutes, awesome. I think that would be like super. I think that would really right. make people want to just fight because then it's like there's it's it's just all like there's no order. It's just completely random stuff that that can happen. Chaos every single yeah, time. Yeah, I think I think that'd be fun, man. That yeah. sounds really fun. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. Well, yeah, they could definitely do one of those. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. They gamified towns, bro. Could you imagine you walk in and Rot's like defending? I wouldn't mind that. In some some shit. <laughs> As, like, yeah, not every world, right? Isn't that what PvP worlds should have been, I feel like? Yeah, yeah. but right? the yeah. thing is, it's kind of got to be more PvM than PvP. It's got to be like they're defending yeah. against monsters and crazy shit. Because once you add like gear into that, scummy stuff starts happening that just, you mm -hmm. know, you can't really avoid. Um but dude, right? I mean, when's the last time you heard of a clan doing something cool that you actually cared for? <laughs> Never. Yeah, not, not Never, really. right? Not so, really could you imagine like going to Lumbridge and be like, oh, dude, these people are recruiting and they have a rock? Maybe I should join them, bro. And it's like, oh, someone else takes them. And then, like, say, uh, you know, seven towns are under attack. You, you got to hold it, bro. And then there's a tournament once a year. Whoever has these towns get to join the tournament for a cash prize. And then we get to watch these people do whatever, right? There's there's so many gaps to fill. But if we're talking talk about fun mini games, man, dude, clans need to do something, bro. I'm sorry. You can't just be, you know, talking shit on Twitter with an anime AVI, right? We need more from you, okay? We I would love to see them integrated with the game to where... They, they, they have a positive influence, man. They're actually hyping up the game. It's like, oh, dude, this clan's so sick. They held this shit for 40 hours, bro. They're all, like, ripped up on G Fuel. I think one of them died, dude. Maybe I'm going to take his spot, right? Like, there's nothing like that. And I swear there needs to be, bro. I don't know, it, man. Uh, it sounds like... Uh, do you remember when, when RuneScape had a very successful esports person? Uh, as a J mod, <laughs> sorry. I'm I was like, you gotta apply. I was right? like, you should, uh, you should jump on that. Do some. Well, that's uh, what we need. Is we need uh, like we need. We've that. got we've got different communities. In I think we have got, like. I am PBM, completely open uh, for Jagex yeah. to reach out. Hit me up and just let me fix the game, dude. All right. Just I don't have any coding XP, but I got you know just <laughs> just me and, and Mod yeah. Ash. It's in a room, and I'll just give my coding ideas, and he'll tell me if they'll work, and then boom. So. So, so we've we've mentioned some really good stuff here, yo. I think the first one was, um, a uh, 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 kind of like a a very punishing game mode where you lose your account, right? Yeah, totally could do that. And then you also did a endless wave challenge, right? That's the mm -hmm. second one. And then the third one, I I kind of like really try to like expand upon it. It's just like this, you it's know, like a, entire a server. Castle Wars kind of. Yeah, like an entire way? server uh kind of like conquest thing like you know mm -hmm. one side versus the other take over their side and you win the game right and and okay. it's like whole server hundreds of people in, right and then um, what was this last one here that we talked uh, about just like uh you know gamifying towns you know it doesn't have to be clans but just anything dude just anything where a town isn't just like 
oh, cool. I'm just sitting here. You know, just there's something yeah, to do, yeah. right? It's clan, not like, oh, Clan Dominion, tops. right? Clan Dominions or something. Dude, and honestly, going back to the whole GP, uh, you know, game rebalancing and saving the economy, I had I had this idea, bro. All right, I just wanted to bring it up. I've, I've a couple times here, but one day it's going to be reality. And it's how do we make Clue Scrolls profitable again, dude? I have... The most brilliant idea. I think I've said it twice on the podcast, but I want I want to get Flample's opinion, dude. What if every item could be put on a pet, but you would have to use it on this machine, and it would be in Varrock or whatever, dude. I don't know what the hell they'd call it, and you need ten of that item. So, example, we take ten black caps, put it in the machine. Maybe we burn a mill. Who cares, right? Whatever, some burn mechanic, and it turns that into a little mini black cap that you put on your Put on your pet. Yep. That's it. That so, is it. Dude, I've never heard you say that. I've before. said it for years. That's <laughs> the best idea <laughs> to you, bro. I, that's a so, first for me, bro. I've said whenever it. I'm like, you know, sitting in the shower, I, I sit in the shower. Honestly, it's recommended. Whenever you're, you're chilling in the shower <laughs> um, or like, you know, lying in bed and I can't sleep and like an idea pops in my head. This was one of the ideas was a pet expansion. Pets currently like that's keeping main game players alive right like like mm-hmm. you know what i've got these 51 or whatever pets to grind and it's going to take years like that's what i'm doing i'm killing bosses all day every day and i'm just going for the pet i don't care about the money i just want this thing that follows me around like they should do more than just follow you around it should still be cosmetic but yes number one any hat in the game can be put on your pet it's a at sync if you want to call it that like <laughs> just like deletes the hat if your pet if you die and lose your pet hat's gone you got to put another hat on Sick. it yeah like so, like stuff like I that mean, where you know maybe you pay one mil and you <laughs> hand someone a mil and you hand them a hat and they put it on your pet that's exactly <laughs> one of the it ideas requires skill and precision to put the but hat. like exactly. 10 of them too right because let's be real these pet people are yeah, rich you could, let's you could delete soak those. their money yeah. out into the ecosystem and buy more bulwarks bro exactly. Fuck. that's what i'm saying <laughs> So, but so, not, don't just like, not just hats. My other idea is like, you know, you can right click someone's pet and it gives you that, like, it's a name. Like you, you pick a name for your pet, you mm. type it in, hit enter. You use so a you, bond on it, right? Like a bond. Exactly. So my name is, you know, you right click me, Flomp, level 126. You right click the pet and it's, you know, the pet's name is like mini Flomp or like Flomp Jr. Like that's, <laughs> I think that'd be dope. Yeah. The third exactly. Evolution. You could get some weird shit. Like we've seen some weird names in the game this past little bit, like. We could have some cool pet names too. Um, another thing, when you run too far away from your pet and it just like appears behind you because you've yeah. gone too far. Help for animations. How about that? Put an animation on that shit. Have no, it so right, if it's a, right. if it's a KBD pet, there's just this ball of Make fire that appears behind you and it just yeah. like flies in. Or like yeah, you've got yeah, Scatizo yeah. that like is this like flash of Shadow purple thingy. light and it comes out mm-hmm. of the ground or you've got like yeah just like stuff like nex currently has the animation to just pop out of the ground at the start of every kill that should yeah, be the be pet cool. animation when you call it to get it to you or when yeah, you at least do far. one genetic pet like respawn animation yes. at least to start off you know to really get us See, flowing. i had this idea not right. super like crazy cool like that i was just talking about like what if you could like pay your pet to do a backflip, right? But this sounds way cooler. <laughs> but like you just burn five mil on your pet and you get like a backflip animation. But this sounds amazing. I don't you know. should have the other yeah, they should have uh-huh. emotes. Like each yeah. animation that the, the boss itself has, they should just be should be able to pick from that. Like the KBD has where it goes up on its back feet, comes down, blows fire. Like that should be an animation that you can just your bank standing, you right click it and you choose the animation and just plays it. Or maybe it's they, in your they... emote category or something. Mm. They could add like a a pet trainer to like a village, and you can take your pet there and be like, "Hey, I want to, I want my cat to know how to do this." New it's new like, yeah, skill, five hundred k. New skill called like Pokemoning or something, you know, where you're the you train your pets. No, I'm just, um, yeah. no, absolutely. I think like pet expansion, it's all cosmetic. It does nothing else. Mm-hmm. Another thing, you summon a thrall, and you got a thrall behind you, like shooting a bow at something. Why can't my pet do that? If my pet is able, like. Every pet has like, you know, okay, KBD pet can do melee damage only, but if I summon a melee thrall and I have a KBD pet following me, the KBD pet is the thrall where it starts attacking stuff. I think that, I don't know if that would work, but that could yeah, be Yeah, it gives a little cool. HP bar or something, man. They did that on RS3, so you can- Okay, can there you go. I, you know, I like, I'm still out of the loop on RS3 updates yeah. that like half of this might be in RS3 already, but- Oh no, just that one, just that one. I just got- We don't have all these other ideas, no. 
dude, I just got the best idea. I'm talking like J mod status. Gonna they're gonna fly me over tomorrow. What if you take like a hundred D hide or like a thousand D hide and you turn it into like a little pet saddle, right? Okay. And then you could put on any pet and you could ride it, but it doesn't go fast. It just goes walking speed. So you're just chilling there in Varrock. You know, you're just riding your little like fucking, I don't know. What pet could you ride, bro? Maybe your little phoenix? I've got, I've got the abyssal protector behind me right now. I've got that pet. And it's a, basically it's a triangle head. Yeah, you want me to sit on that? Yeah. Like, yeah. What? Dude, it, or like stand on. Have you ever seen that uh, meme where a Gary Oak is using fly on a Pidgey and he's just like a thousand feet in the air and he's like yeah. standing on it in T-pose? Like something <laughs> like that, bro. Where you're just standing. Like it's the dumbest shit. It has nothing to do in the game. I but stop. people will totally unlock it just because... Who wouldn't want to show up to their friends riding on their like fucking like, woodcut yeah, beaver? Some pets you could do it. Currently, you could do it with some pets. Some of them, I don't know if it would work. Like the beaver, you just fucking squish it if you stepped on it, right? <laughs> but well, like with the KBD pet, uh, you, you could probably sit on that. You could you could do KQ pet is huge. It's like two by two, I think. You could do that. But what if every time so you get a pet and then when you get a second one, it says you have a funny feeling he would have been followed. What if it just doubled the size of your pet every time you rolled that? Dude. So oh, you, no if you have, <laughs> you have four abyssal protectors, there's this thing that's just like an eight by eight abyssal protector following you around. Yeah. You, your I always, you, could, you could jump uh, on the back of that for sure. Uh, dude, I always had the idea that if you had the pet and then you got another pet roll, a pet equal yeah. size to you would pop up right behind your pet and then it would just keep going to where you just got like smaller pets for your pet. So it doesn't take up much, you know, room, but you got like a two square, like eight pets following you kind of thing. I think it looked dumb as shit, but oh, that's what, we need more stuff in the game that just is dumb as shit. Yeah. Doesn't affect the game at all. It's just but it's, it's revolutionary. Just weird stuff like that. It's revolutionary yeah. actually, making a pet bigger because that makes people do the content so many many so, uh, so many more times. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then it they Or even you just have a train of pets. Like you get a second yeah. pet and it just your pet follows your other pet. It's You're that's great. The best way yeah. of doing it, I think. Yeah. You can only imagine you've just got like a fourteen by fourteen tile zuck following <laughs> you around. It doesn't fit anywhere in the game. Like it's just stuck as soon as you drop it. Like, yeah. Oh, um, man. I hope they another add any of this. <laughs> I another, think those are fine because yeah. you can also um you you probably have settings to like turn it off if you don't want to see people's pets like that. Or whatever. I think we do need that. You need to, you need to be able to have like toggleable like. Yeah, and I think it'll be like great. That. I honestly I love this idea, bro. I, you should be a yeah. mod right now. Cool. Okay, I'm I'm on it. Yeah, um, honestly, I'll fight for it, dude. Another mini game, and I realize now I might have played Call of Duty too much because that's where it's kind of come from. <laughs> have you guys ever played Prop Hunt before? Yes. It, yes, I've no, seen it. It's Prop actually. Hunt in RuneScape. So the way Prop Hunt works, yes! another, there's going to be people <laughs> that are like you don't know what it is. So I'll explain it to to you. Prop Hunt is a game where you've got two teams. One team is people with a gun and they're walking around <laughs> yeah, and it's true. Call of Duty. They've got a gun. You'd have like a little crossbow. Here. Not a gun. <laughs> yeah. And then the other team, you are, you, you spawn in as a random item and it could be a ladder. It could be a crate. It could be a bush. It could be a tree. This is in Call of Duty where you're a fucking bush running around in the place. <laughs> and then you, you're like, you know what? I think I blend in well here. So you go, you find a hiding spot and you just sit there. And the people with the guns are oh, running around looking yeah. <laughs> and they're trying to see like, and they start shooting at bushes and it's like, yo, he's, he's getting close. He might find me. And if you notice this bush out of place, you're like, that bush wasn't there before. They shoot you. You've got a health bar. Like you start losing health as they're shooting you. You take off, you're running. You're trying to get away from them. They're trying to chase you down, shoot this bush. You can go around a corner and switch into a tree. So they they come around the corner, they're looking, the bush is gone and they don't notice you're the tree right there. We need that in RuneScape where you could do, I agree. Okay, you've got all of Falador. And there's 10 people in Falador and they are just, you know, one of them's a white knight and you could just be a white knight. One of them could be a ladder. One of them could be a door. And you're just like, you just smack yourself against the wall and you sit there and wait. And if you survive the five minutes, three minutes, whatever it is, then you get a point. Rewards would be, you get a ring that can morph you into like anything in the game. Like we've already got like the bush. We got the coins. Like they, they could have it. So, okay, there's five new items that come from this ring that you can buy. That's yeah. all the reward would be. Just like a couple, like you can now become a door or, you know, a tree. Or like or you get to upgrade like your uh, options that you can transform. Exactly. Well, you need to be a mod. So you play more. So you get to play more. Dude, that's, I, I agree. Really that's fun. six yeah. really good ideas, you know? Like, Genuinely, really I'm idea. going to uh, be applying to be a mod eventually. Yo, so let's go. It'll dude, be the first connection we have here, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, dude, here, here, here's, here's something I didn't expect to get from today's podcast. It's just 
Just like really how badly we need fun, fun stuff, yes. you know, yes. more than efficient stuff because we are almost all our updates as of late, even the quality of life bullshit has always been about, does this make our lives easier or does this, yeah. you know, increase our, our uh, utility or, you know, and we get more, games, more bigger know? number per hour. That's yeah. You know, make, make me like, feel good. Yeah. See, the no problem is, is like, there's no, it's not like that's a bad thing. It's just, we only do that now, which yeah. means, means that, our uh, our vision of how this game should be is so narrow now. It's so much more narrow than before, and we don't even realize how narrow it is. Like today, I just realized, you know, my vision of how the game should be is so it's just very narrow, a lot more narrow than it used to be when I was a kid. You know, mm -hmm. for sure. I feel like having those would be amazing because they're easy to set up and like you know it's very easily accessible and 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 it and it is very fun. Like you know, I feel like our old mini games, like. It it wasn't really designed the way that that was just naturally fun. It was more like we were just kids, so we just did whatever we wanted, right? I feel like I feel like us adults, we do try to have fun, but but like it's hard for things to be appealing. But I feel like those ideas though could be very fun in general. Yeah, yeah. you know, to I, do. dude, the whole so. prop hunt thing, and just give you guys a little more background. How usually prop hunt is is like when you yeah. go find people if you shoot the wrong thing you lose health right yes. and at the very end the props attack you so if you don't yeah. find them you're fucked so if the runescape <laughs> prop you get a little cross maybe you got like 10 hits everything's random you just oh nope that's not it <laughs> three minutes go by every prop is now in full dh 10 hp and the guy hunting you has no protect priority so if he gets next to you just <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. oh yeah, it's a different brother. kind of pvp now yeah. it's more like a hide and seek PvP. You know? It's hi it's literally hide and seek. For some but shit. You're hiding as like That's a never chair. gonna happen. <laughs> oh. I yeah, think no, yeah, no, so I, my I think these are great ideas. The the way I kind of thought it out like further was you've got the attackers who they've got their inventory where you've got you know tribid tribid switch where you've just got like basic like LMS gear and the, the hiders have an inventory full of like food, maybe sharks or whatever, and you've got like uh, a spell that you can cast on the on the hunters that just freezes them for like three seconds and like stuff like a like a mini little bind so it, so the people are coming and they're trying to find you you can you can attack pretty much anything and i don't i don't think it would work if it was like an existing city of varrock like you'd know right away that chair's mm -hmm. not there and you'd know it's yeah the, yeah it's you need problem. like a new area you need a brand new like you need like a hundred brand new maps so people can't ever like learn all the intricacies of it um but yeah definitely like okay i can attack this chair you hit it it did two damage back to me and you the pkers that are trying to find people you're just losing health slowly exactly and then you okay i'm out of food and now the the round's gonna end does... and the props are like they've got their food so if you attack a prop with like uh, say you've got a rune crossbow and a bolt and you hit like 50 the prop can eat and start running and it's trying to get away from you it can turn around and try and freeze you so it has a little more space to get away like gap Yo. you basically and hide you know, again like yeah so there's sick. there's so much cool shit that you yeah. do with it yeah you know you don't even need 100 maps right you know how like i've seen minecraft how they can generate worlds and shit right yeah and you don't even need to generate like a world you just need to generate like a decent amount of tiles right yes like why don't they have a system like that already because if they, if they had create if that, they have right? the ability to do it then yeah make it random every time so there's yeah, because there's think about it right two of the same right think about it right if they could create this uh, algorithm to do that they can also do that for like the wave spawn stuff right infinite wave yes. spawns right for for that other idea they have i feel like could have just... done it for chambers and chambers yeah. is just you either you scout it so that you get a good raid or you do a cm that's the exact same thing like it could have yeah. they could have had it so chambers okay mm -hmm. here's the you know 10 bosses i don't even know how many bosses there are and it's just random yeah. every single time it goes from tecton into mutadile or it goes like yeah. tecton into one of the others like it's random every time aren't those like resource Gauntlet. rooms uh generated I think yeah. they are. So I they think, kind of already yeah, have yeah. that info. Yeah, because they're always already kind of right. preset it a bit, right? So yeah, it's a little. Well, they can do something yeah. similar. They can do something a bit similar, maybe a bit more variety, more variable. Yeah. yeah, yeah and then no, on I top of that, have the props be able to add like five random items before it begins. You know, mm -hmm. if they want, just to fuck mm -hmm. with people, dude. Just like so well, that, in prop hunt, that you can do that. You can make decoys. Yeah. So you like, if I'm a bush. I can say, like, you click a button shout and it a puts clone. a bush where you were, and then you walk away. The bush stays, but it's a fake one, right? Yeah, you and shout you keep a going. Clone. Yeah, exactly. Yo, the I'm point really system like... could be, like, the longer you survive, the more points you get. The bigger mm -hmm. the item you are, the more points you get. So if you're hiding as a tiny little, like, bottle on the ground that's, <laughs> like, like, half of a tile, basically, or even smaller, you get, like, 10 points every 10 seconds. But if you're 
like an entire like you know in cod it's like if you're a truck you can be an entire <laughs> truck you get 100 points every 10 seconds they uh -huh. see the truck immediately and you die but like you you like balance what you want to be i think it's Yo, such a good so... game and it should come to runescape for sure yeah no i'm like i'm thinking obviously uh there's there's like the difficulties of convincing jagex as a company as a profiting company to like want to invest in their game like that but but if they i feel like it's one of those things where yeah it's not going to profit you right away because you know it's like it's it's an it's like outlandish idea right it's not mm. the norm of ex efficiency or whatever but but it's just I feel like we're just so conditioned and, and every every year we just dig ourselves deeper into conditioning ourselves to be more and more efficient, right? So I feel yeah, I mean I feel like it's really needed to, that we that they put in the effort to just update the game in a way that isn't about balancing the game. It's just about adding fun activities to yeah. the game. Right. You're 100%. right, man. Yeah. Every year people get more efficient. That's why every year I actually it gets delete, harder. Yeah. I delete myself one rune light plug and so I'm less efficient every year going yeah, forward. Yeah. Just to balance that shit out, dude. Yeah, honestly. yeah, yeah. That's why I try yeah. my best to not overdo the plug and stuff. But like yeah. the idea is that we, we really need to make an effort because if we don't, we're just gonna be bah humbugs, you know, like old dudes that are always complaining about life could have <laughs> been better or whatever, right? We just need to let loose. We need, we all need to be able to like I'm burns from the grind. All right, I wanna do some prop punk you know, or whatever. Yeah, All right, let me, let's go play let me prop hunt for if a bit. I can get a new PB on this, you know, this uh like you know, like the the zombie. The thing, wave right? simulator, exactly. Yeah. Or I just want to go and like, you know, fuck up some noobs in, in like the whole, you know, the, the whole server wide, like, you know, hourly thing. Like you know what I mean, just like those things. Convenient. Mm -hmm. You can just do it whenever you want. There's no like weird, you know, like prep for it. You just go in, you just yeah. do it, right? Like when you're bored of the grind, you just get to do that stuff. Dude, so many of my yep, viewers right? will be like, hey, I'm bored. What do I do? I'm like, um, go do a clue, I guess. They're like, no, I'm bored of doing clues. Ah, just fucking LMS. No, I don't want to fight bots. No one knows yeah. what to do when they have nothing to do. All right? This yeah, would be yeah. perfect. It's like, oh, should I just go fuck around and prop hunt? Or maybe... There would be rounds? There would yeah. be no bots. There'd be no bots in prop hunt cause because the reward is cosmetic. <laughs> yeah. Right? Exactly. What's the but point on botting it? Like, it'd be content, fun. Too, right? It'd be good stream yeah. content. They'd be like, yo, boys, let's all get in there. Do this, you know, do this together, yeah. right? Go in with exactly. the viewers. I feel like we don't have too many of that because, like, you could do that with bossing, but a lot of viewers are like, oh, I'm still in Lumbridge, you know? <laughs> right? Like, I'm still stuck in Lumbridge. I just got out. I can't boss yeah. with you. I'm sorry, you know? Like, like, mm -hmm. like a lot of the fun group stuff to do in this game, unfortunately, is a little bit too... Them. It's too high up there. So, yeah. so people only watch, but they can't actually get in. But I would love for people to get in, too, because, like, that's how the game will stay alive overall. Right. I feel like at some point, you know, when we worry so much about power creep, which we should, but but like because that's the only thing we do in this game is like trying to improve and improve and improve and build and build and build and get better. We're always gonna hit that like rock where it's just like shit, we can't we can't upgrade, you know. We need another way to enjoy this game that isn't just about getting our accounts better every single time, yeah. right? Man, I yeah, think um yeah, to add on to this conversation, because I've just been like listening to you guys talk about it, I think <laughs> I like didn't know if we were even th still here. Like, I didn't know if you yeah, just no, put he a was picture up and he was like, or not. Was like and I'm, just, I'm just like, ice barrage, ice barrage. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was um, in Zen, dude. Yeah. What, what I'm thinking is, like, it, I totally agree. I think that there needs to be more in the game outside of just being competitive and efficient. I think those things are great. I think they have a, a fantastic place in the game. But, you know, it's like, you're right, at a certain point, everybody's going to hit, like, that plateau where it's like, okay, I've, I've maxed or I've completed everything that I want to do. And it's at that point when you can't make up your mind on what you want to do next, where it's like, it would be really nice if there was something just easy and chill and just non-competitive to go and enjoy. Because at this point in time, I'm like, I know this is um, sort of catered more towards, like, the elite players, like people that play a lot. Even they get burnt. Exactly. And I think eventually the way that the game is going, we will get to a point where old school RuneScape may become almost like a seasonal game where it's like you might just end up playing it when the new raid comes out or when there's a new boss, you pick it up for a few months, you get on with it, and then you go back to playing other games that are just getting yeah. updates mm -hmm. faster and they've got different kinds of, you know, enjoyment. I, I think you're right. I think it's super important there has to be like that chill aspect, something that you can go and do, which is not competitive, not incredibly sweaty all of the time. Something you can just fucking do for fun. Uh, I think the idea of this prop hunt game you're talking about, like that sounds awesome. 
Like, it sounds yeah. so dumb, it sounds stupid, but it sounds like the kind of thing that you'd want to do when you're just like, I don't know what to do in the game right now. Let's just go and play some goofy game, you know? Exactly. Yeah, it sounds and, great. And I, and I think that's why, like, this idea of, like, a server, a whole server-wide uh, PvP event could be so fun is because you, you, can't game, you can't game that, you know? Right? You can't, Man. like... Yeah, just, they could do so much. You know what I mean? Like, you can't game that kind of system because there's just too many people from all aspects mm -hmm. of life that can just go in there. There's no order. There's no coordination. It's just natural mm -hmm. yeah. group flow, right? And everybody feels like they're a part of something, right? Instead of yep. feeling like they're like, oh, I'm going to get bodied by this clan, you know? Because it's like, you so, can't. Like, these 10 people showing up, they, they literally, one dude could just have got off to Tor Island. And then yeah, one other guy is yeah. actually a PK, right? You never know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, make a, a point here too, right? Is that a yeah. lot of Runescapers aren't Runescapers anymore? And okay, we got Raj Patel. We went into, um, what is that? The well, he does hosting now on a show. <laughs> he does hosting on a show now, but he used to do the Grand Theft Auto role play, right? And then oh, we got other people yeah. who joined yeah. Among Us when that was popular. Hell, some of the Runescapers went and made their own Rust server for a bit. I think they came back, but they're always looking for a way to either get out of the old school uh, community or, or expand a, a, outside of it, right? And it's happening to a lot of people. I think most of us probably even thought about it too when they don't update something we want in the game. We're like, what other game could I actually play right now? Um, and the, the amount of people who just join these groups and they'll have these nights outside of it, but why, why do we got to go outside a RuneScape? Why couldn't they make something for us just to do inside a RuneScape, right? Yep. It almost feels like it's more advantageous for them to add things that we can enjoy as a group that aren't, that don't it's have anything enough. to do with XP. This game is large yeah. enough. Yeah, they're, sure. they're literally just like not doing it. They're like, okay, go play other games while we make another league. So, okay. It's like, dude, maintain your audience, have some yeah. fun shit to do. Every, even content creators yeah. are looking for stuff to do out on the outside. All these, the, the, um, yeah, go for it, Rixie. So Sorry, I'm really sorry to cut you off. It's just my brain's like, things you're saying, <laughs> I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. It's from the that computer is, your parents bought you, bro. It's just, it's coming in full circle now, bro. <laughs> the, the, thing, the thing is, man, it's like RuneScape is a business, right? And businesses usually take the least term. dangerous path in order so to annoying. get some kind of gain. And the truth of it is, is that the way that the game is right now, that we're describing, it's worked. Like, you have a long-term audience of subscribers that are still here enjoying the game, and it's like, it will be a difficult thing to convince them as a company that, you know, something else needs to come into the game. And I think, realistically, the only way for that to happen, really, is for there to be a dip in the subs, like for people to stop playing the game and for people to be vocal about what they want in the game. Because companies don't take risks, dude. Like, at least it, it's not a great idea, is it? It's, yeah. it's like when you think about loads of different kinds of um, like video game companies and so forth, like the amount of times where it, it's a risk to come up with a new concept or a new idea, it's like, why not sell the thing that people have already bought into and clearly enjoy? But let's just like let's let's do it again. It, it, it's literally like when you look at games that uh, what 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 do they call it? You know when they like re revamp a game. It's the exact same game, but you got better graphics. It's yeah, like, that doesn't do a anything. Reason, there's a reason why those are successful though. It's because people are gonna oh. buy it up because it's not a risk to do well, that. Short they know term, there's yeah, already yeah, it, a pre-existent yeah. audience for it. Um, but you know, like in terms of this, um, you know, this world boss or whatever, you know, some kind of concept like that, that makes me think a lot about, um, and I know they were talking about doing this. I think it might've been for the PVP arena where you could queue up for your fight and you can be doing something else. And then it will tell you when it's ready to like hop to that world. They could do that so easily. It could be like, you know, every two hours or something, there's like some sort of like territory war or something like that. And then you get a message being like 10 minutes until this happens. And then you get like a 60 second reminder. And it's like, you need to hop to this world. You need to be in this location. Like, well, more like you just press it. yes and they'll do everything for you. And then you just get to Or go. yeah. Or yeah, they could do that as well, for sure. I just think, um, I, dude, I love it. I think that it's just a conversation that would be really interesting to have with the J mods and like hear what their perspective is. Because I, I think my biggest concern is the way that things are going right now. And, you know, I appreciate and understand the content takes a long time to come out and there's a reason for that. And it's usually because the content's very good when it is released. 
But the way that things are going, um, it may very well end up being a case of, like I said, it might be a seasonal game where people kind of don't play the, the game it's already all the time. It's yeah, like, it already is. I, I, to yeah. be they just come back. Yeah, it yeah, already I, is becoming seasonal, you know? Yo, what if, what if yep. we do um, another podcast with Flomple and then try to get a J-Mod on, and then we'll bounce all our ideas onto, onto the J-Mod, bro? Yo, if, like, dude, about, if we can get, like... Yeah, I get bro. a job interview with them, oh, and shit. then you guys are just... You just join. <laughs> and you just hype me up. You're like, <laughs> best idea I've ever heard. Like, let's go. Like, yeah, dude, yeah, they're, yeah. they're in a Discord call. They're like, hey, are you ready? It's like, one second, and just three other people pop yeah. up. <laughs> Yo, I'm thinking hey guys, it's, it's the Nigerian prince here. I'm just uh, <laughs> my, my brother Flumpo. He's he sent me so much money. My brother man Flumpo. <laughs> Yo, I'm thinking though, like seriously, like obviously you, you got to get the right J mods, right? Like the people that make the content isn't really the people that decide whether or not the content gets to be put in, right? Isn't there like a a head of kind of like old of of Jag old school RuneScape or something where like he's kind of like he is basically the closest line to talking to the to the investor side of the the mm. you know of, of it. If we can yep. get that guy in yeah. there and have that kind of, kind of conversation, because he would be the one that can he would be the one that has to ultimately convince these investors to be like, okay, go ahead, we're gonna put the money in there, you know, for you to do Yo, this. Right? Quick you know idea. Do you do you guys wanna buy old school RuneScape with me? Like we could crowdfund it. I guarantee. <laughs> How much does this, this investor have in it? Hundred million. I got you. Let's I'm say. way ahead of you, dude. All right, dude. They I'm got a open hundred. up. I'm Start a GoFundMe, and... and the entire community buys RuneScape. We have 100 percent control over it now. Oh god. No, I'm gonna no. open up an NFT. It's gonna be ten thousand bulwarks variations. All right. It's gonna cost five hundred dollars to mint one, and we're gonna use those funds to buy RuneScape, dude. All right, <laughs> we go through Solana. All the profits uh, gonna go through me, dude. All right, don't worry about that. And we're gonna we're gonna set it up, dude. All yeah, right, what we need point, to try to get the game director though. At what point do we call this a bulwark fetish that you have? Like it is like what's going on with you and these bulwarks? You're just so EVP <laughs> history. You can call it a bulwark fetish. I think it's a fetish. Yeah. Okay. okay. There I, we go. Dude, just wondering. Honestly, bro, if I could, I would spoon one, bro, because yeah. I, I would feel safe. Yep. <laughs> Very yeah, no, good, uh, good, we can have that kind of conversation. That'd be insane. Next podcast, yeah, just awkward, only awkward bulwarks, pause. Dude. Let's just have an awkward pause of silence, just to just soak in that he wants to spoon a bulwark in real life. Spoon, bro. I go farther than that. We're on the podcast, dude. Okay. Hit me up later. I'll give you the deets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, when are you applying though? When are you thinking? Like, what's so? What's that? We haven't gotten to it. I'm getting married in 19 days. So, I mean, some people might be watching this after I'm already married. I mean, unless anything goes wrong, you know, maybe, maybe something. You know, I'm just kidding. Um, that'll be fine. Getting married, and then it's like that's like such a big life event, right? Where it's like I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> Rakesy's after like, that, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Sorry, sorry, Rakesy. Yeah. I think he's just jealous of of my fiance. <laughs> he wanted to marry you, dude. That's why. Yeah, maybe he needs to. I can't listen to this man's love life because I wish I was me. Um, no, I think uh, I think after that, like I've got a you know summer ahead of me with a lot of plans and stuff. But um, you know, I currently work from home nine to five, and you know. I'm yeah. super passionate about RuneScape. I have all these ideas. It's like maybe they want someone like that on their team. I don't know. Um, I know I could, I could get in there and, and help. Yeah. Or your job but, title, fun know. dev. Yeah, exactly. Know, the, I'm the fun yeah. guy. We I also slight... wonder: have I said too much weird shit on the internet oh, to absolutely be not. even considered to be a player? You've seen the pictures of what I do on stream. Like they don't want some guy who sits in a hot tub with a duck mask on and plays RuneScape. No, there's no way. It's bad PR. Well, no, but but you really. <laughs> You really sell yourself out to be a fun guy, though, you know? Yeah. So I'm not I want to be on that stream, bro. You're in Canada, right? What's that fucking nine-hour drive, dude? I got a duck mask. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he's on the east side, though. Oh shit. I don't know where that is. <laughs> yeah, he's it's like on the east. Up me. Up east my state. <laughs> but we, sure, wait, we have on. slight connections with J-Mods. I would really love to do a stream where we bounce ideas off him. But uh, I know Flop... <laughs> For fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> 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 That's quite a Ooh. brilliant... How about we just wait for Rakesy to come back? Yeah, he said I'm two there. minutes. I lied. I don't actually have one on. No, I'll be right back too, though. I, I got to really use this restroom real quick. Hit it up, dude. But when you're, uh, when you're out and about making your threads, if you do get any close calls of a J-Maw, man, swing that idea by him, bro. Because I feel like that would be a, a top-tier podcast, bro. I can't take myself <laughs> seriously with that on. It's pretty good. It's it is pretty good. good it is good. Um, no, for sure. Like I, I, 
all, like, I already want a change of career, and I'm like, you know, let's just do it. I'll just apply. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? And you just really don't want you. Like, so, yeah. We'll I see have how dreams goes. where I'm like, I'll wake up, and I'll just be like, all right, today I got to go fix the wilderness, and I'll have a dream. I'll be walking to Jagex office. Dude, hey, what's up, dude? I'm, I'm hanging out at the fucking J-Mod bar. I think I got one of those yeah. in the little headquarters, dude. I'm just writing down ideas. I'm bouncing them off mods, dude. And then I'll wake up and go, oh, wait, that's never happening. We're just going to live in a dead wilderness, bro. So... I'm hoping they add someone to the team. Cause I'm down, dude. Oh, My minty, okay, okay, okay. I'll fix that shit for sure. All right. There's no doubt in my mind. We made it back before Rixie. Nice. Nice. Show him. Oh, your sorry about that, guys. Were you guys making out? Nice. Small, small bladder. My bladder is, oh, is small dude, as well. Two I'm, hours, bro. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it two minutes, uh, and I'll be back as well. I didn't want to leave the minty alone here, so. Oh, I'll dude, I would just start talking about bulwarks. Wait, did you we all go? Did me and Re go at the same time? Yeah, race went. Yeah, I'm making it. out, right? You guys... <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Well, listen, listen, listen. Well, I gotta say, I gotta say. Sorry, go, while ahead, go ahead. While I'm standing up, I'll just show the uh, the behemoth. The behemoth hoodie is is what I I'm wearing. Oh, twerking, damn, man. dude. It's got okay. the it's got the purple chest on. So, behemoth, Ooh. this was free, but you can send me some money for shouting <laughs> you out on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone clipped that. Too. Send it to. <laughs> Remember, Dude, you can clip listen. stuff now on, on YouTube videos, so. I want to see people clip now. Yeah. Bro, I was uh, just, yeah, that's the thing. I was just thinking as I was going to the toilet, man. I was like, oh, yeah? you know, I was just stood there, cock in hand, kind of just looking down at my monstro. No, I'm playing. But I was just <laughs> okay. kind of thinking, man, like. Keep going. It's really interesting <laughs> how there has been and is being right now. I feel like we're in the midst of like a shift mentality wise in what we want from the game like i i feel like we've kind of been there with like the sweaty efficiency uh, and now it's like we've got to a point where we've kind of like we've had that for a long time i i don't know about you guys but i do feel like there there there's being like a mentality shift on, on the way that people want to approach the game uh, i think it's going to be really interesting to see how this all plays out i think that as a demographic we're we're, we're in a part of our lives where we're just trying to understand what it is about us that like like matters to us in terms of spending time, right? And then, so we went from a kid phase to like being an adult, right? I think a lot of us are still coming to terms of what, what it means to be an adult, right? And I think a lot of us are still kind of like stuck on the first half, which is more so about making money, responsibilities, you know, trying to, you know, right, trying to be a duck and stuff like that. And then, but, but I think, I think it ultimately though, it has to come back to full circle. Right? Like what? What is the point of living? Right? It's philosophical. It, it's it's not just to make money and be responsible and all that. It's it's also to enjoy ourselves and to have fun, right? And and in a way, we we mirror that lifestyle to that of the, our of of the video game, right? We we treat this game like it's real life, where it's a job to us. It's like our XP per hour, you know, our wages, etc. I think I think it's almost time for us as a whole in our twenties to come come to full circle. That like the real the reason why we started this game in the first place isn't to mimic Dude. the lifestyle choice of an adult per se but it's also to have fun you know right if you want to mirror it the full way we got to go full circle if you want to wear point. snake skin hat and yeah. boots in rev caves more power to you bro all right everyone should have fun in this game dude yeah dude. i like how rice just powered through as duck mcgee yeah just entered the room me and rice here, i was about to say <laughs> with me all along uh, <laughs> it's donald duck uh African Can you imagine this right. someone different? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, right? It's like, it's me. would have been great if my like, <laughs> like uh, You know, you, you bring up a really interesting point there, Ree, where yeah. you know, we, we know it's at this me. point that the majority of people that play old school RuneScape are, you know, sort of like mid 20s. Old ass hippies, I, dude. Probably like between like 22 to like 30, right? Like the majority of people are in that category of age. And it's like, you're right. It's like we're all experiencing things in life kind of similar in the sense of like the responsibility that we're taking on in these years. Because we're in those years where it's like, you know, you're at the point in your life where it's like you're, you're trying to build money. You're, you're trying to get assets. You're trying to basically yes. like, you're, you're trying to be able to control everything that's going on because it's a lot of shit you're trying to take on more responsibility life gets fucking hectic and you're right man like when that's happening to you and you get home and you can play the game for like two hours you're probably thinking like man i want to be fucking efficient with what i'm doing like let me just I, I need to know the best way for me to be able to get from here to here 
in, in like the best amount of time. Like that's that's such an interesting point you've brought up there. And like that that definitely I imagine that has some sort of like influence on to, how we have to go full circle. The game. Yeah, we have to go yeah. full circle because I don't think being an adult all only means that we have to you know, go for the best of a certain type of number, whether it's money, whether it's coins in the game, whether it's XP, whether, you know, like, like I said, money in real life. It's just, we're, that's not why we live, right? We're not living to do that. We're, we have to do it in order to live, but it doesn't mean that that's our day to day, hour by hour, right? We also need to have that time to enjoy Man. ourselves. And the video game is ultimately what that's about, right? And so we need to remember that 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 we have to have some fun too outside of just going for money and stuff you know or xp yep. and 100 percent, matt i i'd love yeah. if this game lasts like another 40 years so the majority of us are like retiring and mm. like i feel like you're right it would be a whole circle bro we we would go from being like naive children getting scammed and stuff and i think we'd be back there <laughs> dude i think like half the player base would be back to like half the, half each the other. player base half the player base would have like Alzheimer's or dementia, and they wouldn't even be able to log into the same account. They'd be yeah, making a new like, one every time they play. I just want to play prop hunt, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Yo, little, Tom. Yeah. Tom, what do you think the price of a bone work would be in forty years? Oh, uh, Bulwark dude, Seven be, is going to be out by then. Yeah, Bulwark G. But it would seven. take like forty bulwarks to make one Bulwark Seven. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know when you when you do the ninety nine construction emote and you build a wall in front of you, behind you, left, right, kind of... and the roof comes on, you're going to be able to, like, equip five bulwarks. Like, front, back, side, side, <laughs> okay. top. And you're just, a, like, a rock. You're like a... Yeah, that's what you'll be able to yeah, do. Did someone years. make me yeah. that in Blender, bro? Bulwarks. Just a dude moving with five bulwarks around him, bro? Please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> please make that for me, man. Yo, I had an idea for, a, a like, a boss that included, included a bulwark, mm. okay? Um, and it didn't have to be a bulwark. It could be like, you know, you pick up the Dawnbringer to go into Tob, like the staff there. You pick that up. Like, it, there could be a shield on the floor at the entrance. I'm talking a boss, like, massive, like, so big that you've got to, like, go on to, like, the second story, third story to be able to attack it, like, at face level. And you can have people on the ground, like, trying to, like, tie up its feet and you're up at top. But it, it, it targets the one person, whoever has the highest defense. And that's someone wearing a bulwark. Everyone has to hide behind the bulwark when it attacks, like a Zuck shield. And if your your bulwark guy's like running, you gotta keep up. You gotta stay behind him. Otherwise, you're gonna get hit by this monster that like will one hit you for like 150 damage, like a Zuck hit or whatever. I think that like a moving Zuck shield, but it's a bulwark to do it. Like, and then you can't the person who has the shield can't eat fast enough or like will run out of food. So everyone else is like heal other like trying to coordinate yeah, yeah, yeah. heal oh, other that's good. keep yeah. them alive the guy you've got one tank is just a fucking guy in full justy with the dins trying to like you know protect the team like shield the team so when the when the boss hits everyone's behind the shield and then you scatter and like attack it and then get back behind there heal him move with the shield i don't know i think it'd be i'd be just a when, a when cool you were boss. describing like a... that huge boss like, yeah. you guys know what south park is right yes yeah yeah, yeah. have you ever All seen right. like the movie where they're like small. I think it's a video game and they're super small and they're sneaking in this room and then they're like, I think a mom and dad are just slapping cheeks, bro. And they got to like run around the balls. And I was oh just thinking God. about that, like just this mu massive boss. And you just got to like yeah. hover around like the genitalia for some reason. Has No one's ever seen that scene, bro? I have not, <laughs> but that's exactly Dude, what I'm right. picturing. Like a boss bigger than like what you've ever seen. Like the foot is your half, like your entire screen. So you can like climb a ladder to get to the second floor and like attack its shin and like <laughs> keep going and you've got yeah, anyway. I think that would be a crazy well, boss. Yeah, in this in the scene, there's just these huge balls that are dodging them, and it's gonna sound crazy, but I hope someone in the comments has watched uh, that yeah. movie, so I'm not crazy yeah. as hell. You guys gotta well, go watch; it's amazing. The movie. boss will be wearing Bando's tassets, which is just a skirt, and it's and it's, just... it's going commando. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's it's just neutral. It's new neutral gender. <laughs> bro, they're, they're blurred out, empty. bro. You just it's see this big empty. green blur, and it's like you do double damage anytime he takes a step. Oh, okay, I'm going. It's too far, it's simple. But... It's just a mage doesn't like you, and he and he shrinks you. You know, shrink down all of you mother trucking adventurers, and then you have exactly. to like, survive this shit. Easy. That's, don't that's, have there you go. Long. There's the lore. We always need yeah. a little bit of lore in RuneScape yeah, to be yeah, like yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. kind of sense. So there's the yeah. Lore. This should be an NPC called like the the 
I don't know, fl- uh, I don't know the flump, nice. the flumble mage. You know, <laughs> yeah. he he's just all about advocating fun, and then he he's in the clam you can wars. Call it uh, flumble force, uh, uh, You, you know, go. he's in the clam, uh, the clam. What is that? This, the fucking Varox Enclave. He's just yeah. there to like the you know like as a teaser. He's designing some new mini games for you to have fun. You know what I mean? Love right? it, right? Like the the zombie shit or whatever, you know, or like the bizarre shit, the the, the the defend the kingdom shit, you know, like whatever, right? That'd be cool. Exactly. All these different ideas, all in there. But yeah. boys, we've been going on for uh, almost yeah. two and a half hours, man. Should we go ahead and wrap up this brilliant podcast? I think mm-hmm. we should. But what, dude? What's the word of the day? What are we gonna ask the boys yo, to Mon comment Flample, down below? Dude. Yo, yo, Flample for money. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Flample okay. for so, so there's a fun okay. Mod. I've got a list of future RuneScape account usernames, such as Flomple. Like, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random, and it sounds yeah. funny. <laughs> I have a list of names for, like, future accounts. I've got an account, which is my hardcore Iron Man, named Chongle, and that one's pretty dope. It's still alive, and it has the Tob pet. But I've got a list of, like, 30 <laughs> accounts here, so I'm going to pick a name off of this, and the comments need to try and predict how it's spelled, because it is not a regularly spelled name. So, what do we got here? Um... Let's go with this one, uh, which is Guancomble. There you go. <laughs> what? Good luck. Spell, type, comment down below Guancomble, and if you get it right... Um, if you spell it right, then good shit. <laughs> then good job, yeah. Then flop will oh, we'll ping you. We'll ping you if you get it right. Yeah. We'll ping you if you get it right. Yo, yo, one last thing, though. I, I realized like that ties in with the whole, the, the whole PvP and why it... Like, like, why it doesn't always feel so successful at times, right? Is that, like, I think the difference in the way that current PvP minigames work is that usually it is just too small, right? There's just not enough people. So when you do go in, it's usually always predictable people, right? Like Castle War is what? You can only fit in like 30 people or something, right? Mm. And most of the time, it, it, it doesn't feel like you're really... It just it feels predictable who, who you're going to fight, right? Like it's, just like it's almost always like someone that's skilled. LMS when you go in you almost feel like it's always going to be someone skilled so that's why I think something like a mini game where it's hundreds of people would completely change that idea perspective completely right you don't yeah, yeah. feel like you're going to get bullied by someone because it, it, it you don't know it's just so many people it's chaos and and yeah. I think that's the main difference because then I don't I don't want someone to be, be like oh well this this PvP mini game is pointless because like all PvP mini games are are dead upon arrival but that's not really true because i feel like this would be fundamentally different from all these other mini games that we've ever tried that's pvp what, what yeah. you're saying is noobs bring life in a runescape and sweats take life out of runescape yeah exactly because ultimately new people don't want to fight concentrated doses of you know Adderall arthritis maybe. right yeah. or whatever right <laughs> gotcha yeah, I think that's yeah. fundamentally the difference. I think for, for a PvP minigame, you need to have it so simple that anyone can take part, where there's, like, one mechanic. Primary, you've chaos. got gear, you've got gear switching, you've got gear switching, you've got prayers, you've got stuff like that. The mechanics that, like, they should be, like, one thing that anybody can do, and that's, like, okay, there's no overhead prayers, everyone has the same gear, everyone's the same level. The only mechanic is teamwork, and that's, who are we fighting? You and, just go in, and you're like, mm-hmm. everyone get on this guy. Yeah. And you just pile them and you drop them. And, and, and also, and that's and, like the only thing that's like makes it so there's skill. Like, there's no skill in that. It's just like fun, chaos, anybody can do it. Yeah. You see, I don't think that would be an issue anymore because if it's server wide, like I said, there's just so many people that, that like the chance of you encountering someone that's sweaty uh, as a 1v1 is next to impossible because it's going to be yeah. all multi, right? You're literally going to have like hundreds of people piling on each other. You have mm-hmm. absolutely no way to, tr- you, you can't outskill your, your your opponent next to you because you're not out fighting your opponent it's really literally another massive group of people just yeah. trying to like you know deal with everybody else so there's no way to like lock on to someone really in that kind of system so you're just everyone's kind of equaled out as is right what about like, a 10 by 10 square yeah. 100 people everyone's one hp you have one chin last person alive wins <laughs> That could be like a like I don't know. It could be a fun thing, but I feel like we need something. That's, that's Dead Man Mode Final, right? What you just yeah, described. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd rather watch that than the real Dead Man Mode Final. Yeah. Uh. So I think I think fundamentally, when they when they try a new PvP mini game, it should be something that involves hundreds of players, because that way it eliminates all these weird like you know clans just dominating because yeah. they have coordination, they have teamwork. Um, the idea that like a skilled player can easily outclass you, you, can, you when you when you put in a system like that, you can't have these 
these variables don't really exist anymore. You know, I, what if uh, like as soon as you step into this arena, your username is randomized? Oh yeah, that's it. That'd be fine. Yeah, just right. really. You, have, you don't know who you're fighting. Like, yeah. You don't know if you're backstabbing your friend. Your friend's like, no, it's me. It's me in the mystic hat. You're like, I don't know which one. There's six hundred of you. Yeah, like, it can be as simple as like different color capes, and that's it. Their names are different, and then you're good. Yeah. You know, it's See, really just give you awesome. content creator names. So it's like. If you yeah. get a really popular one, you're gonna get you get focused. randomized as Bodie. Is that Bodie, dude? Just everyone files him, bro. <laughs> no, I, I feel like we need that, man. It's just like every time we do a PvP minigame, it's always a smaller group of setting, and then it's always one v one. There's too much order to it, you know. Like it needs to be chaos. And I feel yeah. like noobs love chaos because it it levels I everyone's mean, playing field when it's chaos. Yeah, I mean so. they could they could if I can add to that. I will say like they. I have a man. I have a bias. I prefer singles. And I do Morty, but I am very aware of the fact that Morty needs some love, severely neglected. But they could always make it so like different maps are different. So it could be like you don't know if you're going to be in a single war or if it's going to be a Morty war, or there could be just be like spots of it that are Morty and single, just like the main game. I should um, have. I yeah. should have it so the there's like a a square of multi. And everywhere around, it's, it's like singles, easy to tell. It's easy to but tell. But it moves. It's, moving, right? it's moving at like <laughs> one tile per tick. So you're trying to like, do you want to stay in multi or do you want to stay out of multi? Are you Take trying to like hide in it or yeah? I don't know. That'd be like chaos. That's yeah. the chaos that we we're talking about. Yeah, like, no, I think we really. I think that's the one thing they haven't truly tried. You know, it's a server wide thing, and and I feel like yeah. it would be so fun because anybody can do it anywhere, anytime. Just queue in for thirty minutes or oh, whatever. You, Here's yeah. here's the idea the, the that brings all of our ideas together. It's a server wide yeah. thing where it's like the size of the RuneScape map, but it's flat and empty, and it's just like a POH where you you can build other stuff. You get thirty <laughs> minutes to build your castle. There's yeah. two thousand people, and you're like, no, don't build that there. That gets in the way of my thing. And you're like building up, and and then as soon as it goes, everyone's fighting. You can hide as a bush with the like ring of nature. <laughs> I mean, you can, like that's just all of our ideas put in together. And then right in the middle, like the Hunger Games, is this cornucopia filled with Din's bulwarks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. fixed RuneScape. Yeah, right, honestly, when you build them, your account gets deleted, bro. And when you die, your account's deleted. Exactly. Yeah. No, seriously though, it's just I think these are fundamental things that like we just haven't tried as a community, right? To, yeah. to bring those kind Let's of things it. to it. Yeah. Let's start deleting yeah. accounts. Yeah. We never had a right. server wide thing, you know, for PvP. What they just like, spawned everyone. That's like time limited, obviously. In the Lombridge basement family. with rune skimmies, no protect prayers, dude. <laughs> I'm just they can let's do, do it. it. Bro. You know what? Hello? Let's do this on you know, host a stream, Mint, and just say, you know what? Everybody get a rune simmy, nothing else, and just meet me in Lombridge basement PvP world. Let's see who lives. Like who's last alive. Let's go, bro. And I'll have random people bring cash sacks on them, and so you yes. get like a pinata. A little bit, you know. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like all these ideas are good betas for when we talk to the Javon, yeah. pitch it. You know, yes. with Flample here, we'll definitely pitch it. I think, yeah. Also, 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 they should comment and get the Jmods, like the our viewers. You know, really bug them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys have enjoyed these ideas, uh, yeah. twenty one watching on YouTube. Yeah, go and tweet the J mods or whatever, or when they go live, let them know these ideas. Be we nice, of course, here, because. You know, yeah. I want a shirt. So no, be good. be nice in general. Oh, be nice oh. to everybody. I mean, I don't think that you've said anything this stream that has even slightly like discouraged them to send you a t-shirt. I'm well done, bro. Honestly, man, <laughs> can we get some claps from my boy Min? <laughs> I only <laughs> speak real. All right. That's all yo, I'm what saying, about bro. yo Flumple? Have you received uh, any like merchandise from Jagex at all? Nothing. No, sure. I, started, Soon, I started streaming like just over a year ago. Otherwise, I was completely nobody in the community. Oh, they're so, locked right. in, bro. Don't you worry. So we, we've got tomorrow. a running, running joke here with uh, Michael because he's been a content creator now for what, like ten plus years, and uh, he's yet to have any acknowledgement, any merchandise mm. in this. Man, he's Not dying for sure. Come on, Jagex, get get well, set up the, at least. I think the That's main nice. thing is you just need to put out like actually decent content and then they'll notice you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I take it back. I want to be back on the podcast at some point. So that was a, that was a joke. It was just a <laughs> meme, guys. It's all right, boys. I'll be to crying be myself in a To be fair, I've watched all three of you guys, like all of your content on YouTube for like ages. I don't even know how long it's been. Like 
my my sub box i see one of those videos i'm like yeah let's go i had there was a video from you mint that was recommended to me like every time i opened youtube for like a week i was like fine i'll fucking watch it and i loved it i was like this is dope and then yeah you hit the sub button immediately oh, nice <laughs> man dude yeah. brings me down to bring me up oh my god yeah, by the way yeah. god if, if there is like some sick demented J mod out there listening to this the really like dude this would be the funniest fucking thing bro if you want reach out to us Send us a fucking hoodie. Would it not be the best thing ever if, like, me and Rice Cut received the hoodie that's like old school RuneScape podcast with our names on the back, and then Mint <laughs> just got nothing? <laughs> They'd probably just, send you a them, fucking like, hoodie, bro. Yeah, They'd send you a hoodie small. with my name on it. That's what they would fucking do. Dude, I, I, or, or they just send you like a blank hoodie, like with nothing on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I look at it, but it says skill specs or something. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I was, I did, what do you dude, say, Fumble? Uh, I was just saying, like, just, yeah, get him uh, like, like a child size small, and he just can't even wear it. He just has it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it that's a large dude, yeah. So. <laughs> Overall, that'd be great. Uh, right. Anyways, let's wrap this up. Mr. Flumpool, thank you very uh, much for coming on. It's been a goddamn pleasure. Uh, where can the people listening find you? What are your social medias? Yeah, I've got uh, Flumpool on Twitter and Twitch. It's, it's, wait, let me. That's how you spell it. It's right there in the bottom left of my thing, anyways, but that's it. You go to Flumpool. Drop mm -hmm. a drop follow on there. And uh yeah. yeah, I've I've obviously getting married in short time here. So I've been going live like two or three times a week, but before that it was like six six times a week, evenings, eastern time. And Ooh. soon it'd be um, J Mod. Soon it'd be J Mod. So Yeah. I mean if Early I'm a J Mod, there's no streams after that, right? Like it's you can't I don't even know if they let you. So Yeah, they do. I've seen I've seen people stream. Some people yeah, become a J Mod like, just yeah. to get that little extra clown. <laughs> That's true. okay. There you oh, go. There it is, dude. He's not getting his t-shirt, man. To, <laughs> I'm dude, sorry. It it's so obvious, though, what they do on Twitter. I, I more power to you, man. But <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, I want to say, uh, you know, early congratulations on on your wedding, and also, you know, yeah, we'll man. be looking forward to you uh, applying to the JMod stuff. I feel like yeah. you would be a great. It, it's like you know, our ideas, our ideas, right? Because who who are we to implement it? right yeah so if you can get in there like i feel like we could support you like wholeheartedly and and really try to push yeah. it you know yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah good luck with that man yeah. remember this yeah. whole time i've been grinding the account so you will see the progress next episode Not oh, no, no, no. dude what level wood cutting you got right now let's hear how hard you've been going to keep it a surprise yeah for I, next i will say right, though so the, I, the username I, is one like one tile just don't look it up don't look it up, up bro <laughs> <laughs> i i will say i did eat the kebab accidentally and then i switched to a pvp world for a bit and i didn't even know so <laughs> <laughs> i could have oh been worse God. but yeah you will see next episode do not look it up all right Please all right we're gonna not. end boys <laughs> see mm -hmm. you